good evening. And how are we? Evening, Thomas. Evening, Chris. Dean's running slightly back off. Yes, back in the Dean's running slightly late. Uh, so uh, as soon as he's available, we'll 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 whack him on. Um, so yeah, we've got some. Well, we've got some beers for you to take a look at. Um, some of the stuff that um, I think one of them I've already done. Um, so me and Dean are just going to take a look at a few Sainsbury's beers. Um, we got the alpaca. No alpacas were harmed in this beer. We got the Tony Rebel Electric Boogaloo, and we've got uh, McKellar's American Dream, uh, which is a uh, an IPL, I think, in Dipo Lager. Dean picked these, so um, we were looking at things to do this week. Today, uh, something a bit different. Um, not sure if one's going to be involved tonight or not. It might just well be me. Um, so you'd have to put up my ugly face for a little bit. Um, so once Dean's available, I think Dean was running slightly late, but we'll be fine. So crack through some of these comments uh, that are already come in. So let's... I'm useless at this, so Wanda's, Wanda's usually the, the star of the show with the comments. So we've got um, beer reviews with Thomas. Hello, mate. How you doing? Hope you're all right. Uh, Chris from uh, Beer Dogs Beer Review says hello to Thomas. So go and give Chris a, a sub. We've got <laughs> my friend Chris the Butcher. Come on, Dean. Where the fuck are you? Yeah, you'll be along in a bit. Um, we've got Evening Guy Smithies S. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Uh, Graham Clark, evening. How are you doing, mate? And, uh, right, so, yeah, Chris. So, the countdown stole from you, mate. I didn't know it was there till I saw it on your channel. So, um, I like this quite quite easy, good um, good thing, that is. Uh, how are we all? Um, yeah, I've been right. We did um, a little trip down to uh, Stagger Any Good today. Um, our, one of our local breweries that um, they've brought out two brand new beers today. One was for uh, one is um, an imperial version. I'll turn that light down. It's going to fry me head. Um, an imperial version of Wanda's favourite drink from last year, which is uh, the milk chocolate stout, the Cocodocus. Um, they've brought out one today, which is ten point three percent. Uh, done the review, I haven't edited it, but put up a little um, vlog video of us driving down there, picking them up. Um, not going to give too much away on the, on the Coca Dogus. Safe to say, um, the glass has been drained. Uh, that was 10.3%. I had that before my dinner. So was, who knows what might happen. Um, and what else did I pick up? And they've got a new double IPA uh, version three of their um, spared no expense. Um, which the, the first one that I had was really, really nice. I actually wanted quite like it. I think that was 8.1. They did a 9% version, and now they've got, uh, I think it's 8.7, I think, or something like that. Excuse me. Just had a, uh, had a curry to, um, to line the stomach. Um, yeah, well, well all, all good, mate. Uh, well, as good as we can all be at, um, at the moment with what's going on in, in this fantastic world we live in. Hope you're keeping well. Um, where about you from, Graham? Uh, beer, window beers with... Oh, I'm fucking useless at streaming, aren't I? Yet? So I really am. Uh, Mark Cotgrove. Hi. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Where about you from, Mark? What are you drinking? 11 Davies 11. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Hello, Bradley. One of my moderators. Hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, beer dog reviews. What did the llama say when he moved out? I pack in my bags. Genuinely, so before we get into this beer, um, myself and Wanda have done this on the channel, and it's probably one of the few reviews um, where I've had to stop the camera mid review because we had an almighty argument um, about five minutes in where she was reading. The obviously with the salt beers, they put these um, 
little things along the along the line where they tell you about the beer. And she genuinely thought there was um, alpaca fiber in the beer. Wouldn't have it. And at the end at the end of the video, um, I think I actually put some of the argument um on the end of the video um because it, it amused me that much but we'd had a a massive fallout it took about 10 minutes um to calm her down uh andy k evening also um your comment on the the little vlog video to stagger any good andy uh, i know you said you drive past um uh stagger any good it's for me it's one of my favorite breweries very rarely have bad beer out of there um really really decent Uh, lucky share. Yes, yeah, smash the like button. Um, David, there's a couple of uh, new brew boy numbers in M and S. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard that. I know. Um, Dean picked up some. Dean was on about. Uh, there's some new stuff in Waitrose as well. He picked up the Brew Dogs Rustic Lager, which I saw. Um, and he said there was other bits and pieces in there as well. I don't get down to Waitrose. Um, not. I don't fit in in Waitrose, shall we say? Um, but yeah, um, M and S have got one just over the road, so I think they've got some other bits and pieces in there as well, haven't they? Um, always been impressed with the M and S um, side of things. Uh, oh, gone miss, miss comments, miss comments, miss comments. Go back. Uh, I got three cases from Brew by Numbers. Brew by Numbers, I don't think. I've ever had a bad beer. I've had a few from them, and I've always been really, really impressed with them. Hello, <laughs> Hello Ben. Um, there's a little story behind Ben Bolks. Go and give Ben a, a sub. Um, great, great uh, young lad. Um, I was sat at home on, I think it was Wednesday night, with Wanda watching telly, and I got a, a WhatsApp from Dave the Blue Van Man saying, jump on Ben Bolk's live. So it was me, Chris the Butcher, um, Dave's wife, June, um, and me and Wanda all um, having a chat along with Ben. Nice lad, um, and he, he's, he's, he's a great channel. So go and give Ben some love, he, it's um, good fun. Uh, Graham Clark, phenomenal value. Excellent beer, uh, excellent beers too. Yep, love the right, love the Christmas decorations. In all honesty, wanted to put them up last week. It's been um, it's been a shit year for everyone. Um, we've been through the meal, still going through the meal with uh, with bits and pieces. Um, and Wanda said, "Can I? Can I, Could she put the Christmas stuff up?" And who am I to say no? It gave her a little bit of joy and happiness in her heart. So um, we've gone early. I know Paul's beer reviews, he's gone early as well. If you've got your, your Christmas decks up, let us know. Because um, I think it's been, I think with all that's gone on this year, um, it's it's nice to have a little something to look forward to. Um, I think there's been, there's a house over the road. They, they haven't long moved in and they've put their Christmas decks up since they moved in. I think it was in October. So I think there's probably a few more people that have done it, to be fair. Uh, in East Lothian, I hope you're keeping well up there, Graham. Hello, Simo. Um, I dread to ask what you're drinking because you seem to have uh, an endless supply of stuff, mate, to be fair. it's um, You put me to shame. Uh, Thomas says, how oh, I just Simo. I'm hoping Dean will be up soon. A bit lost on me, eh? Back, 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 Missed the comments. Simo. Uh, I just sat down for the first time all day, so I'm going to scan some curry and drink some beer. What curry are you having and what beer are you drinking? I've had a chicken balti, as has Wanda. Um, I've had um, a can of Cocodocus, um, the, the brand new one, which was lovely. And I'm just waiting to Dean to before I pop anything else open. Uh, I've just been watching Barry as well. All the B and O idea. I think Barry's actually jumped in. To be fair, 
Brad says hello to Simo. Uh, evening, mate. Chris Clark. Barry's in. Barry, if you want to jump on, just send me a message. I'll send you the link. So I'm just waiting for Dean. So um, we're only looking at some um, some Sainsbury's beers, mate. So if you want to pop on, you're more than welcome to. Uh, Canterbury, mate. Oh, okay. Drinking an Abbott Ale. I'm not an old style ale fan, but I can appreciate them. We haven't done many on the channel. I think we ought to do, do a few more. Um. Uh. Yeah, need to do a few more other bits and pieces as well. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a gig. I do apologise for wonder blocking you last week. Um. Yeah, no alpacas were harmed in the uh the making of um the alpaca beer, but I say massive argument go back and check the video out because there's certainly tension in the air would be no idea uh how's the throat after the pizza yeah so that's, uh, barry's just eating the um the carolina reaper pizza live well, his butt's gonna be in fucking turmoil tomorrow i would imagine uh 24 cans for 36 just now What's that of? What's that for, um, Graham? Twenty-four for four forty mils. Not bad now, but chili does make my throat a bit cloggy. Makes my ass get well, didn't. I was like shitting bloody lava. Uh, back, 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 back. Right, Trose is okay. If you earn one hundred and fifty million squillion quid a year, I put an order, an online order, into Waitrose, bought some bits and pieces, and they said if I spent another tenner. I could get free delivery, so I ordered a packet of biscuits. Uh, Vanessa Kitty, hello, how are you? Uh, thank you, it was a cracking live. It was, Ben. Um, I watched it back, actually, the next day. Um, so we were um, doing something else, so I could only pop on for about 20 minutes or so. So, yeah, it was... Um, it was here he is he's my man is the man um yeah it was great mate absolutely cracking hang on i haven't got my fucking sound on <laughs> what's that how are you mate you all right yeah you yep i'm all right i'm all right looking just get a glance back spiffing, looking spiffing uh, I went into my I started without you, Dean. I just sort of carried on with the comments. No, nah, it's all right, mate. It's your, it's your channel. You do what you want. Yeah, my fucking channel, mate. It's everybody's channel. Smash the like button. Smash, um, went into smash, my, smash. Smash it. I smashed it. I don't know what to do now. It's broken. Uh, went into my local booths today, like a cross between Waitrose and M&S. But Northern, they want seven pounds for a pack of four. Joy, poor the Robin bastards. Fuck off! <laughs> that ain't happening. How much? Seven pounds for a pack of four. Joy, poor. Okay, now where's that from? Uh, Booths uh, across between Waitrose, uh, across between Waitrose and Marks and Spencers. I would have thought you could have got any more posh than that. But Jesus Christ, is going up in the world. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've been added to my Christmas tree all year. I think Wanda's been doing that. I'm getting a bit fed up of it now. Uh, right, let's just crack through these uh, these few comments, Dean, and then we'll, we'll um, open this first beer. Yeah, I am, no, be, no. am going to be honest. I have necked the, that, the, the one Coca Doka, so I am slightly lightheaded. Pissed. <laughs> it went down far too quickly and far too easily. Got a few detrimental pieces, but only as I filmed my Christmas special this week. Be looking forward to that. Um, Bradley Evans, as Christopher Butcher would say, they see you coming. Yeah. I'm on Spice and Easy, Zing and Drinking, bottle of <laughs> Christmas Lishabin. Right, here we go. Uh, whack through a couple. Yeah, so... Um, Sega Socks, Darren, 
Uh, no Crimbo decorations up yet, but fresh beer from Vocational Silk delivered this week. Looks. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so look forward to seeing the reviews on them, Darren. Um, yeah, go and give Ben Bulks uh, uh, a sub. Nice lad. Good review um, and a good channel. Uh, evening. Uh, Andy says hello to Sega Socks. Uh, Jamie Wooten. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Um, evening, Craig. I saw your um, your some of your um, spaghetti bo spaghetti bolognese, Craig. Good on you, mate. Good to see. Good to see something different. Uh, Chris from Beer Dog Review says, "Evening, Dean." Hello, hello. hello, Dean. Hello, Dean. Ben Bolt says hello to Dean. Lots of love for Dean, as there's always in this house. Um, hey Andy, I've got quite a few bits including love and hate, naughty and nice, sweet temptation, a couple of hop showcases, and a loads of sours as it was two pound a can. Nice, right? So, beers we picked up, Dean. Yes, so you show because you picked them. All right, okay, then. So, we're gonna, we're gonna give this a bit of a bash. Yep. The uh, the tiny rebel electric boogaloo, passion Boogaloo. fruit, little neeper. Now I'll be completely honest. I don't know about you, mate, but I've seen a couple of people review this, and it's a bit. Mm. I've seen um, I've seen a couple of reviews. I've also um, on part of a, a Facebook group uh, that's the Tiny Rebel Appreciation Society, and there's mixed stuff on there as well. And in all fairness. I have had a can. Okay. Um, so I know half of what to expect. But I had, I had uh, the other one you picked up. I mean, you sent me the pictures. So you crack yeah. on. Yeah. So uh, I'm guessing we'll, we'll are we going to go for the Tiny Rebel one first? Yeah, well, that's what I was going to go yeah. with. And then we've got a, a Macalabia. Yep. Um, as always, fantastic standout artwork, and not nice to see them in Sainsbury's. To be honest with you, um, you know, great success. Uh, it's an India Pale Lager. Um, what is the ABV on it? I can't even see the bloody ABV. I think uh, it was re a real struggle to see it. I think it's four point seven five. Yeah. I mean, why it's four point seven five? Is it four point seven? It's my bad eyes. Yeah, 4.7. Yeah. And but then... Uh, a real struggle to make that one out on the ABB. Yeah. Yeah, small small font on that. Uh, and then, last but not least, a good old can of alpaca. And, yeah, alpaca in a tin. Yeah. Lovely stuff, isn't it, that? Contains no actual alpacas. <laughs> the row that me and Wanda had. <laughs> So yeah, uh, it, it, your thoughts on Sainsbury's, Scott, with what they've got out uh, so far? Um, better. Better than it was. Better than it was. Could do better. So uh, better, I think, sums it up. Um, it's better than it used to be. But there's still room for improve, improvement. Yeah, yeah, I'd go with I'd go with that. I mean, it's yeah. it's nice it's nice to see them finally get into grips with it. Yeah, um, they should have they should have jumped on it two three years ago. To be honest with you, but AO it, it never happened. It's happening now. We're getting little bits and pieces coming in. I mean, this the, the Macalabia, That's I think that's probably the newest one out at the mm -hmm. moment. So, there was, there was two McKellar ones in the one I went to, and there was oh. another one as well, but I didn't see what it was. Yeah, I know. I only saw that one in mine. So. Yeah. Well, McKellar don't mess around. They, they do generally no. do some decent stuff, so it's good to see them sort of in a another... I mean, I think... Is it Mark Suspensers do um, some McKellar stuff, don't they? Yeah. Finger yeah. or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, there's it, three, three or four beers in m &S from them. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, always good to see. Anyway, should we open this um this boogaloo up? The boogaloo. Four point five percent. 
I'm using my um my brand name for the Beer Musketeer, supporting local Beer Musketeer glass. Cool. I'm just going to pop it in my siren pint pot. Yeah. Have you had this, Dean? No, I haven't, no. Yeah, I saw, I think I saw uh, JB, JB's reviewed it, and he, yeah. he wasn't that best pleased with it. And I think uh, Beard Dad, Dave, Dave the Beard Dad as well, and that was another one that he thought was a bit... Uh, a bit wishy-washy. We shall see. So, in the glass, quite pale. I mean, it, it appearance-wise for me, it looks like a diluted down New England IPA. I mean, we have to take into account, they're calling it a little neeper. So it's not going to... It's not going to erupt out of the glass. No. Um, it's only 4.5%. They're only saying it's passion fruit. So at that point, you have to um, dial down your expectations because of all they're telling you on the tin. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, everything for a nose. Yeah, that's all it is, isn't it? Just loads of passion fruit. Yeah, the passion fruit, isn't it? <laughs> and, and to be fair, it, 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 smell, it smells all right. I mean, it's nothing offensive about it. It smells like... It's, it smells like a, a glass of squash. Yeah, nothing offensive on the nose. Yeah, I mean, passion fruit, passion fruit nose. So, so far, so good, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's it's I say it's um that's it. This is, this is all there is to it. There's nothing else. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Passion fruit squash. <laughs> yeah. Very weak passion fruit squash. Yeah, it's a very, very, very light body. Um, very short, very I, short. I, yeah, I probably have to agree with the guys that I've watched do this, do this, um, this beer. There's, you know, there's no getting away from that wateriness, is there? It's, it's. I mean. You can call yourself a little New England IPA, um, which is all which is all well and good, but for me, there's no body in that beer at all. It's just like a it's a glass of squash. Mm. Very. If it, was, if, it no, was, if it was just a passion fruit pale ale, then maybe you could sort of give it a little bit more leeway. But because he's actually got New England IPA. So you said you, yeah, you're, expecting, you're expecting some oats to, to fill that beer out. Um, and it's not it's not there. Oh, would it, oh yeah, yeah. It's it's sad it's, it's what's sad about it is it's actually it's not a bad tasting beer. It's 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 okay. Um, but that body's just it's unforgivable. I mean, initially you, you met with yeah a lovely a lovely sweet passion fruit flavour taste. Yep. You met you met with that, but it's washed mm. away so quick with the wateriness of the body of the beer for me. It just it it goes. It doesn't linger. Sweet it's sweet up front. Sweet up mm. front, and then as you say, it's gone. It's gone. Nothing yeah. Nothing gone. Nothing. Yeah. Um, disappointing really <laughs> for the price it is i mean what was it two pound 20 a can was it there's definitely better yeah. second beers available at that sort of price point for sure you, it's 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 missing the target isn't it yeah it's big time missing the target and Not to be fair I know, I know there's um um you, how, do you, how do you say it? The, the people call him Brew, um, Tiny Rebel, the new Brew Dog, and the trouble is, you can't 
you can't say they're not because a lot of their stuff doesn't hit the mark at the moment. They're, I know they're an adjunct brewery and things like that, but their stuff is so inconsistent now. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't tend to to dabble that much with these guys. I did when I first started out. I mean, a beer, a beer that springs to mind for me from these guys was it was Fuba, I think it was called. Yeah, I never had that. Um, back in the days when it was bottles. Um, I think, I don't know. I mean, I, I do like, and you'll probably agree with me, Scott, and the guys that are watching maybe can, can chime in on it. Um, I'm all for these supermarket beers coming in. It's great. Yeah. Let me say, there's some there's some absolutely corkers out there, and there is alpaca being one of them. Yeah. But these sort of, I mean, the tiny rebel. I think they, the beers that are available in the supermarket are just middle of the road stuff, really. There's no wow factor. What tiny rebel stuff? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've um, I, I'll completely agree. Um, the stuff I've had from Salt. In the and the salt for me are the other way around. The stuff I've had from salt out of the supermarket have generally been of a really decent standard. The stuff I've had that are um, brewery website only, and John from um, Lord's Brewing sent some down, weren't great. So I've had the, the, the completely switch around with salt. Okay. Which is unusual. Mm. I mean, for me, for me, I can only go on the, the salt beers that have been in the supermarket, and, I'm, and I haven't had a bad one. No. And for me, they're like the new, the new Northern Monk of this year almost. The, the only problem they, they had a slight the problem with Wildcat, didn't they? Where there was there was an issue of oxidisation in their cans, and they yeah. They, which was sad because it was a it was a great beer, but it's a beer I struggle to go back and buy now because of that in my mind. Am I going to be wasting my three pounds? That I mean, to be fair though, that was the same. That was the same with Loving Eight, though, wasn't it? When that first came out, um, yeah. I never, I never had a bad can of that, and even to this day, I, I tend to I, every now and again I'll I'll drop back I'm and have a can of that because I really yeah. like it, and I haven't had a bad can yet. But I think they had the same problem. Um, and the brew dog as well, the um, the, the cargo and the brew dog beer again, a few inconsistencies. It, I think it's just nature of the beast with the volumes, yeah. Um, Josh Edwards, evening, Scott. Your parcel arrived today. Um, just emailed you. Thanks so much for the note and also the beer, Matt. You've really cheered me up. Also, Dean, hope you're well, mate. Um, so Josh Edwards was the lucky stroke, unlucky, um, person that. Uh, won our beer giveaway, but he actually came second. So I sent him the. I can't I think I sent him the the Morrison's bitters, and uh, as, as some other bits and pieces. The poor poor bugger. So I don't think you can say. I don't know what has cheered you up, Josh, but the more the welcome, mate. <laughs> uh, ben Bulks, uh got to head out. Hopefully, catch up at the end of the stream. Cheers, Ben. Uh, Darren Sager socks. Looks like you have some nice beers to try. Well. This one's all right. It's not fantastic. It's uh, Beer Dogs Review, so Chris. It's about time Sainsbury's joined the craft beer revolution. Well, they've dipped their toe. Um, we'll see, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, Jagman. Um, Gamma Racer, one of my favourite. Um, get that at Sainsbury's. It's, it's a solid beer, uh, Gamma Ray. Not, no, nothing, prob no problem with Gamma Ray at all. Soft, soft spot beer for me, Gamma Ray. It's one of your first, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Chris the Butcher, I'm here again. <laughs> Just had to fuck off and sort, up, sort out my upload. Christ knows what he's up to this time. <laughs> I like little Chris's little interludes where he does his dancing and things like that. Just crack me up. <laughs> Uh, beer dog, uh, I quite enjoyed Gamma Ray, Slobieski, uh I thought Boogaloo was poor. I ain't going to disagree with that. <laughs> There's nothing I know, to disagree I know, with. I know we don't give ratings, Scott, but yeah. what would you give it out of 10, mate? Um, oh, fucking hell. Okay. Okay. 
I ain't giving it any more than a five. Yeah, I'd probably match you on that. Uh, the body alone, it's, the flavour's okay. It, it, it's just doesn't linger, does it? They no. bulked it, it up with a bit more oats, just just to I mean, just to carry that passion fruit on a little bit more. And it, and it probably, just, then, the, 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 sweet, the sweetness of that passion fruit, the more you get into it, it becomes quite sickly because it's got nothing else going on with that beer. Yeah. Um, you're not getting anything from flavour wise. It becomes quite sickly with it as well. Mm. Uh, Craig says hello to Dean. Yep, Craig. Uh, Tiny Rebel are very hit and miss with their beers. I agree. I agree. I disagree with that. Uh, Kim Pump, up the jam. Pump up the jams for me. Still, still up there. I, I, I really enjoyed that one. I like Kutch. Kutch Red Ale is is a cracker. Um, Wonder actually sat and had. Um, did she have last night? A beer that she hated when she first tried. She picked up from the beer musketeer, which is the oh, what's the marshmallow porter? Stay puffed. Stay puffed. Yeah, I mean, there's there's loads of variations of that as well, and I think they're they're pretty good. Yeah. From what I've heard, I'm, I don't think I've actually had one of their porter beers before. Uh, the the stay puffed um, Wanda didn't like when she first tried it. Sat and had it. I think she had it last night actually. Um, and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, so, and I, I, it's a beer I couldn't actually remember. I know Barry sent me a couple um, of the Imperial versions, I think, early, mm. late last year, early this year. I can't remember. Um, I think, that, I think again, with um, Tiny Rebel, a bit like Brewdog, better on the dark stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's, look, I can, I can probably see why people do couple them up with the same opinion as brew dog yeah because i know yeah a lot of people speak quite highly of their dark stuff but the, yeah. the light stuff it's just up and down up and down shake down was all right i didn't mind that for the supermarket beer <clears throat> Fucking, uh what we got um bill weir hi guys uh verdant are banging out some good beers I haven't done much verdant on on we 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 um, operate on a budget on our channel. Burden's pricey now, isn't it? Yeah, for what they are. Alan's good, though. Alan is a Love great Alan. beer. Alan was one of my favourite beers of last and year. Howl. I never had Hal. They, they're like two, they're two peas in a pod, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a glass of squash, exactly what you don't want. <laughs> your beer to be <laughs> it is it's what it is it's fucking sweet passion fruit squash uh spice and easy alan and fiona Hello, mate. um tomorrow night eight o'clock um me and wanderer on it uh spice and easy uh the alcoholism evening um eight drinks it could get messy Hang on, what's this? Two seconds. Bear with. I've had to leave your live stream for a second because I've... Louis just told me I've got no fucking bread. <laughs> to the shops, getting a loaf of bread and probably uh, a bottle of Nuki Brown and, well, actually, probably about seven or eight Nuki Browns. <laughs> Seven or eight Nuki Browns for Chris the Butcher. So he wondered why he gave up doing beer reviews. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spice and Easy. Bradley says hello to Spice and Easy. <coughs> uh, I'm not drinking tonight, it's Andy Kay, but I've got Boogaloo and Alpaca in the fridge. I hope Alpaca is better. I think both myself and Dean can safely say Alpaca is better. Yeah, it, 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 blow, it blows it out of the water, mate, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, I have to say, I really like the Tiny Rebel um, Shakedown. That's the mango. Is that the mango one, Shakedown? Yeah, Vermont. Man is it Vermont? Vermont. IPA? Vermont. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I haven't had that. that. Bad. Um, little Dave says, hello, Dean. Uh, Jagman says, had two cracking beers from Salt. 
Huckerback New England IPA and Citroen Nipa Junior. I have heard about Huckerback. Um, I've not had it though. Uh, 11 Davies. How would you rate the new Morrison's Tesco's beers? Best to worst. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that's a toughie. There's some good stuff in there on, on both sides of that supermarket. Well, straight away, you, you, I'm thinking the dark stuff that's that's come out from... North Star was lovely. Ah, oh, it was Belter. That was an um, absolutely Belter. I, I am... I'm, I'm, I haven't, I've not reviewed it. But I have had a fair few cans of um, what's the Northern Monk one? Scaffold. I yeah. I, again, I think I think I've I've tried it, but I haven't reviewed it. No. But it was it was decent. And the one the one I really like is the fifteen mile round trip. Um, the vocation and that. Yeah, I tried that. That's a cracker. Out um, of Morrison's North Star. Yeah, Black Heart. That was decent. Mm. Uh, layer cake. It was that that's Tesco, isn't it? Layer cake. Wanda's a huge fan. That's Wanda's go-to beer at the moment. Is layer cake. She's a huge fan of layer cake. Um, I've only had a couple of cans of that, to be fair. Um, but it's it, it, again, Brew Dog and dark stuff does all right. Hand in hand, yeah. Um, so eleven Davies uh, eleven. How would you? What would you rank? Because I think for me, I think North Stars the the, the standout and all that lot. I put, yeah, yeah. I was I was really impressed with it when I tried it. Uh, the other one, I did a I did a Siren one, um, which was a variation of their Broken Dream. Is that the Cherry ghetto one or something. I have had cherry, that. cherry and cacao. Yes, twisted broken dream. Broken dream. I have had it that. It was all right. It was all right. It was a very cherry intense. So I mean, if you like cherry, then you're going to love it. But it was a bit, bit too much for me on the cherry. But a decent stuff. The one I go back on, and I almost, I think I said to you at the time, but I, I drank it and I. I so when Wanda was away and I did about five reviews in one night and it was the final review I did um, and it made me sick and I couldn't work out if it was the beer or it's just the fact that I'd had too much to drink and it was the Zia from, oh, uh, uh, beer from factory, London. Yeah, London Beer Factory um, and the more I go back on and I think about that, uh, the sweetness in that beer, um, I'd like to have another can because I have seen um, some further reviews on that that weren't too keen on it. Yeah, I've, I've tried it but not reviewed it. I think ba Barry was the first to, to do that one, wasn't he? When it, before he even came out in the supermarket, I think he got it from a bottle shop and he, he sung the praises of it way back then. I mean, I, I like a sweet stout, um, but I, I'd Tiramisu, say I do. Isn't it? Tiramisu, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, uh, maybe I'll have to go back and have another. Trouble is, because I've had it and I was sick after it, and I don't know if it was the beer that made me sick. Mm. Little experiment right. in the making there, then, mate, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> um, Bill Weir says, um, also, all supermarkets are prostitutes. They will sell anything to make money for their shareholders. They owe very little of their non-branded products. Basically, they are just warehouses for manufacturers and they move to market demand. Imagine how much food is in every supermarket and how much ends in the skip. That's modern life, unfortunately, Bill. Mm. We, li we live in a throwaway society, unfortunately, don't we? We do. It's, um, it's you, you've only got to look, you look at my bin. At the back, the amount of food that we buy a week and that we don't set that we don't go through. Um, it's just unfortunately, it's the way of the world. Is it right? No, but no. is it going to get any better? No, we're, we're you say that, but we're also we're in a where if you like a beer and things like that, then we look we're very lucky at the moment over the last three years. The, the price of beer in supermarkets, whether who makes the money, whether you agree with it or not, the, the fact that these beers at a certain price are now 
accessible and available to the masses is fantastic. Mm. And there's some decent and, stuff as well. And you've got you've got to bear in mind as well when when these breweries are approached by the supermarkets, they can tell them to piss off. Yep. Or they can say, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's you know, chuck some numbers on the floor and let's see what happens. So it's not like they're that they're penned into a corner and they've got to do it or anything because that's just not how it works, is it? Well, I mean, yes somebody, or no? Somebody told me, and I'm not going to divulge who told me, but um, someone told me that um, a certain brewery was making, I think it was 3p a can. Well, it was over 1p or 3p a can on every can they sold in supermarkets. So it, I think a lot of it is just uh, they they do it to get their name out there for, for you to go and find other things from their breweries. Mm. Almost like a... A loss leader. A overpriced paid promotion, isn't it, almost? Absolutely. So they're making fucking nothing, peanuts, but it gets their name out there. I wouldn't want to take that gamble. If I was running a, you know, a mid, say a middle-tier brewery that got approached... And then them sort of numbers, I wouldn't want to take the chance because it could go terribly wrong, couldn't it? You know, if you're knocking out a load of shit, and yeah, there's, you know, there's no, I don't see any benefit or gain to that, to be fair. Uh, Madness, yeah, crazy. Um, so 11 Davies 11 says, unfortunately, both stores near me didn't stock many of the new ones. Not Tro Brew Dog was great. Uh, that must have been that's the Jet Black Heart, and they had the other, the Choco Libra, didn't they? Choco Libra was all right. I had that with a curry, mm. did that live. Yeah. Um, nice, nice take on a start, wasn't it? With that, with that sort of like, uh, um, was it habanero in there or or, or jalapeno? I can, I can never remember. Uh, I think it was habanero. I can't remember what it was, but what I, what I liked about it is it wasn't. It wasn't it wasn't offensive because obviously chili and stout can overpower, um, and it didn't. Uh, it another complimented, another, complimented. Yeah, another one that if you if you like chili and stout is um, is by Hamilton Brewery. It's their Day of the Dead, uh, and that that does it because it's very subtle. The, the the chili in that is really subtle, and it doesn't offend the beer at all. Yeah, it's that play on. A Mexican hot chocolate stout, isn't it? With that infusion, yeah. almost. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't take it take the beer over. No. It just, it just works nicely in, in, with, with all the flavours that are going on. Absolutely, and obviously yeah. that's you, what you the, want. The last thing you want is that chili fucking erupting everywhere and uh, just messing your palate up because it yeah. just just ruins it. Chili burn and, and too yeah. much heat from it. it no. Nah. So Chris Beer Dog Beer uh, review said. Sorry, guys, got a dash for a bit. Dinner time. I'll be back on uh, back if you're still on. Um, well, we've got 26 people watching. I'll give him Beer Dog Reviews um, a subscribe. He's a, he's a nice bloke. He's all right. Uh, Sega Socks. I love the supermarket beers myself. Nothing worse than going to a store and having to buy Stella as a premium drink. You'll have to, if Chris is back from the shop, Chris, Chris great. <laughs> he will be taking great offence to that. Yeah. That, that's that's nectar to, to Chris, isn't it? That's nectar. Uh, uh, Stella, Heineken, and Newcastle Brown go to beers for Chris. Uh, yeah, did he, have a little, he had a little spat on Peroni, didn't he? Or was, was that somebody else? He might have. I don't, he, he might well have done. Beer Moretti, I forget. Yeah, go away. Uh, Right, uh, Craig says it's like the supermarkets with the way they treat the farmers for their milk. Tesco has so much power. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, you can't you can't deny that they they have got a, a a reputation for that, and and as well as as other supermarkets as well, especially with dairy farmers. Yep, you know, oh, they've been how they been from they over the years. Take the price. Yeah. Um, it can change it can change overnight literally they some some of the farmers they, they get a bloody email saying this is what we're paying tomorrow and that's it final no yeah, kicking out yeah either lump it or cough yeah 
Uh, we'll whack through these and then we'll get on to the um the McKellar mum. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill Weir, breweries are valued at volume brewed. Their annual hectolitre volume determines their values. They are in it for market share and not bottle line. It's a game for the breweries, a long game for the breweries. I think that a lot of breweries just, I think they do it for national exposure now. Mm. Uh, JB, uh, mate, hope you're right, Northern Southerner. Surely the costing of producing a session IPA is more feasible for brewery to supply to a supermarket as opposed to a double IPA or an imperial stout. I don't disagree with that. It's, it's um, the, the cost in um, an imperial stout is going to far outweigh something like that. Yeah, easy. Tenfold. Just for the, just for the malt base alone, I would imagine. Uh, Paul Goggin, Paul's late going down perfectly tonight. Whatever you float your boat, mate, if, you, if you're happy with that, then I don't think I've ever had a cause like I can, it's not something I can think there's ever passed my lips, Dean. Is that the that's the can of beer, isn't it, where the mountain goes blue and it's ready to yes. drink? Yeah, yeah, I don't think I've ever had that. I think I have. <laughs> <laughs> there's more than choices made with some stores, absolutely. Right, should we open this McKellar? Yeah, let's go for it. So, this is an in India Pale Lager, the American Dream. The American Dean, Dusty Rhodes. Uh, and that's all I know about this. I, don't know about it. I do like an IPL, I must admit. It's it's another dimension on a on a, a good lager, hopefully. So, India Pale Lager, halfway house between a lager and an IPA? Yeah, just a, a, a nice... Poppy lager. Poppy lager, yeah. Pretty decent for McKellar. You'd like to think so, anyway. That looks all right. Yeah, it's like haze to it. I don't yeah. have my glass. Looks nice. Looks all right. On a on his finger of head. It's like pine. It's sort of pine in there. Pine and grapefruit. Yeah. A little bit of citrus, not massive, but yeah, pine, grapefruit, tiny bit of citrus. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, it's, it's, it smells more like um, an IPA than a lager. Yeah, I'd agree with that. It was uh, every day of the week. That's nice. Cheers, Cheers pal. Definitely more like an IPA. Yeah, yeah. If, if if you didn't know it was an IPL, you'd think you were drinking an IPA, wouldn't you? There's for me, there's no sign of lager in that at all. It's not. There's no. It's it's pine, grapefruit. There's a nice bitterness running through it. Big sweetness in there for me. Yeah. Uh, little bit, little bit biscuity on the back end of it with a little bit of bitterness. Nice malty body. No, I wouldn't say I was drinking a lager. No. No. I don't, I don't mind it, though. I think it's very nice. It's very refreshing. It's it is. A fucking thing. Uh, yeah. Scott oh. and Dean, have you tried oh, the oh, Mocha Stout? I've got one to try. Oh, the, uh, the Williams Brothers beer... That's a cracker. I, I, I don't know if I've reviewed it, but I've, no, I've definitely had it. I think yeah, I got I think it in the Beer 52 box before the Audi sort of uh, hype. Yeah, I think it was, I think you said to me that it came out. Uh, all, all of the stuff that um, in the last couple of um, Lidl's uh, craft beer range have been nothing short of really, really good. The price... Um, it's been... At, what, 160, 170 a can? Depending on where you are, I think they range from 169 to 179. Um, for me, the standout beer in the last two or three, there's two actually, um, little things, uh, was Zoom Time, which was the, again, when you look at that, so that's a, a little, uh, a small, whatever you want to call New England IPA. 
Zoom time was exactly the same. So it was a session doing the LPA, and it was fucking brilliant. Mm. Yeah, I missed the boat on all of it, mate, really. And then the other one, which was the dry gate, um, Coco Noco, the, um, the, the coconut stout. And that was superb as well. Because you were a big fan of the, the marshmallow stout as well, weren't you? For, Barney's. Uh, oh, yeah, Barney's yeah. as well. Barney's was fu- Yeah, I forgot about Barney's. Another yeah. cracker. Absolute cracker. Mm. No fair play to them for having a, having a piece of the pie, shall we say. That's fucking brilliant. Uh, Chris, uh, I've drank 24 packs of Colours uh, called right before, although we had to put it in the freezer to get the mountain to go blue. <laughs> <laughs> Chris the Butcher, hang on, I've just got back from the shop, but I did hear someone slagging off Stella. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't me. It was him. Yeah, it wasn't me, mate. No. It was him. No. Fucking no. Oh, oh, fuck <laughs> I'll never get the hang of that. Uh, must be your imagination. Uh, Sobieski, uh, it's a lager. We're just used to drinking macro pale lager shite. There's plenty of good lager out there. But Dean, you did the um, the rustic lager from yeah. Brewdog. Brewdog, yeah, yeah, it's up there. It's up there. Finally, yes, finally, they get one right. Yeah, we can forget all about Kingpin now and lost lager. It's a little bit more money, admittedly, but. I think for, for what I got out of it, I'd buy it again for sure. Four pound a bottle, wouldn't it? Four pound, yeah. Um, I did after after I did review it. I, I looked on the Brewdog website, and I think you can get four bottles for twelve quid. Okay. Okay, so it's slightly overpriced in the the supermarket. Yeah. But then you, I mean, you, unless you're putting a bigger order, and you've always got to factor in the the P and P on it as well, haven't you? So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Have you got any more torps for your um your sub? I've got a, a torp of put put gamma. Is it the the oh, yeah, yeah. I've got that. I've got a torp of that. I need to get around to doing it. I will do eventually, but finding the time in it that's a trouble. Well, we did. Um, I've done the the little. I've done two videos. I've done the little drive down to Stagger Any Good to pick up the two beers. I've edited that and stuck that up. And I've also done the review of um, Coca Docus, which I've just got to sit and edit. And it'll probably come out tomorrow, or I think, or maybe Sunday. Um, and then I've got the the spared no expense as well um, version two. So and yeah, I'm just trying to said uh, said before. All through November, just trying to do local stuff, give um, local business some love. Um, every, everybody's struggling. Um, we're um, under the cost for money, so just trying to share love where we can. Yeah, a little bit really. With that, mate. Yeah, this is nice. Right. Uh, yeah, I'd I'd buy it again. I think it's just a nice, decent, not back beer. 4.7 so it's it's in that setting territory and i would i definitely i definitely keep going on this than that boogaloo right boogaloo. I'd, I'd off drinking that stuff again this stuff i could i could keep going on it so i'm, I'm just going back on the, the the back of this can actually by uh, the boogaloo i hazy and pale yeah I'll, I'll go with that nose passion fruit and citrus i wasn't getting any citrus out of it uh, it's all passion fruit for me. Um, taste passion fruit, and that was it. <laughs> that was it. It was all right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know. I just. I like the um, the ninety nine flake thing stout that they did. That was okay, but I'm a bit reticent to hand my money over to them now. Yeah. I, I... If they if they bring the odd release out in a supermarket, then I'll I'll dabble. I'll have to, I'll I'll have to have have look at put in an online order in. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at Shakedown. It's, I, 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 I do like um I do like mango as a flavour. So I, it's one I really need to have a look at. I can't. I, it's just I don't get over to Sainsbury's very often. Um, and when I mean, if you said if you said. He's a kind of shape, Dan. He's a kind of boogaloo. I know which one I'd go for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, I don't use any. There's no um. There's no fucking. I don't know. I've, I've lost train of thought now. No choice between the two, is there? No brainer, mate. No brainer. I mean, doing doing what we do with reviewing beers, you just curiosity always gets the better of you. Whether it's a bad beer or a, or a, a good beer, you're curious to try it. Um, yeah, I said it at the start before we even popped it that I'd seen reviews of it. Um, I don't normally tend to go down that that direction if I'm completely honest and, and have a clear mind and go in blind sort of thing. But yeah, I, I didn't really have any intentions of actually doing a review of it anyway. So it's no great shakes to me that I've seen a couple of guys do it and it just anchors my opinion the same as them really. It's, yeah. it's, it's a poor beer. It is. Yeah, yeah but it's not great. But they've got this one to come, which is cracking. Mm. Okay, so um, I'll send Barry the link, Dean, see if he wants to come on for a bit. Is that all right with you? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I get fucking ah oh, bollocks. It's all got ticks up. <laughs> Don't say the C word, though, because it gets you in trouble. Uh, right. Uh, uh, the quality, so, JB, the quality, uh, I think, of Tiny Rebel is in question for me now. Do you think Tiny Rebel will follow Brewdog in terms of quality? I think they already are, aren't they, really? There's... I know they released a load of stuff that was in their calendar, wouldn't they? They did this bloody calendar, and then a load of it appeared on their website. So whether they didn't sell as many calendars as, as they were expecting, I don't know. Um, and they all I, – I, the only one that I did have a look at was – was it Ha Ha Ha? Uh, which was a new oh, one. Oh, big, big 440. Yeah. But I just – I don't – where money's tight, I don't want to – I don't want to pull the trigger on it, mate. I really don't. No, no, no. I'm not interested. I'd soon, I'd sooner take my money elsewhere. There's, there's other breweries up and down the country where I'd sooner, if I was doing like a direct online order, they wouldn't be the first port of call for me. They'd be way, 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 way down. So Beco has put a big company, B company. Uh, guys, best pound for pound beer in the supermarkets, price and quality. Well, North Star, you're getting a bloody belt in Imperial Stout, good ABV on it. Was it three? Is it three fifty or four quid? I think four pounds, isn't it? The North four pound. Uh, I mean, gone gone in the days of wildebeest at two pound fifty. <laughs> Well, to be fair, I would have gone with wildebeest at two pound fifty. Wow, yeah, I mean, yeah, but it's it came and it went, didn't it? You know, <laughs> absolute blinder of a beer, yeah. absolute yeah. blinder. Um, that's really cool. Um, I'd probably go with North Star for the sheer quality of the beer. Um, I know it's slightly more expensive than some of the other stuff. Um, so it's, it's the trouble is there's so much range now, and obviously each everyone's slightly different. Everyone's got a different palette. Everyone likes something that's slightly different. It's really tough. Um, I like a West Coast IPA and a New England IPA and a stout. Um, I am really fond of that 15 mile round trip. I do like that. Um, that's a hop hit that just just keeps coming. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's, it's re that's a really tough question now. There's there's that much though. We seem to be almost flooded now, don't we, in the supermarket? Yeah. Whereas before there was there was trickles. I mean, Tesco obviously with their first wave 
generated a lot of excitement and now you've got the likes of Morrison's knocking out some fantastic stuff and then Tesco's come back again and then Morrison's come back again we've just got so much bloody choice now haven't we yep you know and it's constant uh, it's constant and it's fantastic and it's exciting. I, I, would, I would actually say, um, I'm going to go back to the comment. Is the guy best pound for pound beer in the supermarkets? If if you're going to go for, well, you can split that into two of it, always accessible beers. Um, for me, I'd probably go for one of the Lidl's beers for um, uh, for price. And quality, and I'd probably go for either bar again. I go back to Barney's, that Zoom time, or that Choco Noco, or even Choco Blocker. And I, mean, and, and I mean, keeping it keeping it on the the Lidl and Aldi sort of theme. Perlenbacher, Rhinebacker, Rhinebacker. I mean, was it four cans of that for three quid? Is yeah. it? Uh, yeah, something ridiculous. I mean, when 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 we had that really good weather, I mean, that's a bargain and a half, isn't it? Because that's just a good. Go on, go wrong on that. No, ninety nine p a bloody can. Some of them. Yeah, well made, well made quality pilsner. McGargle double IPA cooling down. It's in two supermarkets, probably only Ireland. Brewed in Carlo. Have to stick with the cause until then. Agreed. It's nice. Uh, needs ice cold and needs a tumbler in the glass. I, I know tumbler glasses get a bit of a bad rap. Um, but everyone's doing it at the moment. I actually, I really like my tumbler glasses. What, 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 you, you enjoy that sort of feel in the animals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously it's, you do all sorts of it, can't you? If you've got a stout in it, you can sit and warm it up. But yeah, I like, the, yeah. but I like okay. the teku, I like the teku, so I've got... <laughs> Off to get his teku. Yeah, obviously I had the um, I had the Coca Dokus in it earlier, and obviously do the same with that as well. Anything I can do that with, I'm good with. A, te a taku does take some beating, doesn't it? Well, it just looks nice, doesn't it? it looks it's a nice bit. looking glass. Yeah. Did the um, yeah we did the review of the Coca Dokus in that, and uh, I've got this, and I've got the big sort of the stem glass as well. Um, but I just think if you're going to do a review, it sits in there. Yeah. It has to. How about you, Dean? Taku? Taku all day long, mate. Taku, yeah. If, 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 you, if you, you just want, want to just chill back, put a good film on, yep. get a beer, and just have a sit back in the sofa with a taku. You see that you can sit and admire it, can't you? That's the thing. You sit and look at it. Yeah. You can do all sorts of a tacky. You can flick it around your hands. You and it'll take any beer, beer, wouldn't it? A tacky will take any beer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Toby, Tyrannosaurus sixty nine. Uh, don't get me started on Tiny Rebel, mate. So uh, Tyrannosaurus sixty nine, Toby is the guy I get messages from saying I've got this beer. It's a load of shit. You either <laughs> take, you take it off me or it's going down the fucking sink. Um, turning up to 11 was fucking awful and a lot of their beers seemed to be adjunct heavy to hide the poor brewing yeah spot on absolutely spot on yeah it's a it's, it's a perfect it's the perfect recipe to um clean up the mess isn't it yeah i know he's i know toby's ordered some um Coca Cola and to spare no expense today. So the, the good thing about um, um, Stagger only good. I was well gutted today actually. Uh, the printing on the bottom of their cans of the Coca Cola is a golden ticket. So if you get one with golden ticket, you get a free brewery tour and free bits and pieces. And um, I didn't get one, so I almost drove into the brewery and ran them all over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, have, have a look at them on their website, guys, because it's a f I'm, I'm, obviously I can't say much about the review. I'll just say it's fucking brilliant. It's lovely. Uh, 11 turn me off, Tiny Rebel, and their beer is kind of expensive, really, when you're buying online. Can't go wrong with vocation. Yeah, voc vocation. Uh, they're doing 
they're doing some fantastic beers at the moment as well. They, they do like dabbling with the old Imperial Stouts, don't they? And the barrel aged stuff, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The barrel aged and all that sort of stuff. Uh, Look, Loman's Brave Hop was that the dark one? That was, I'm sure that's a that's a, is that the little stuff, is it? Or the Audi, yeah, yeah, it's Lidl's again. Again, Look, Loman's superb 179, 169 a can. Uh, love vocation free delivery when you spend over 35 pounds. Great fridge fillers, they can then sprinkle in some Daya and Verdant. Toby sent me a picture of all the stuff that he stocked up on for um, lockdown and just loads of verdant. We're just horrendous amounts. I think he's single handedly keeping them in business, Dean. <laughs> um, fridge filler, I go with Evil Twin, a vocation hop, skip, and juice. Hop, skip, and juice is fucking, that's a lovely little beer, that is. Yeah. I forgot oh, about that. Was that the. Was that the second wave when that came out? Yeah. yeah. Second or third. Yeah, it's hard to keep track of it all now, isn't there? You Lost. know, I mean, the Lost Cosmonauts, we, we, we both sing the praises of that beer, don't we? Love that, Lost Cosmonauts. Yeah, a, a staple. That's, you know, good stuff. Uh, Lost Cosmonauts, Love and Hate. I, I tend to go, if I go in there now, I'll pick up Shoop. Uh, 15 mile round trip and North Bridge, yeah. North Bridge, yeah. Again, another, another Delta, Delta, yeah. Um, and th those are sort of my three go to beers at the moment. Uh, Patronus in Lidl 179, fantastic. I um, I turned up on a, a live, I think it was on Craig's live, where me and Wanda were both hammered before we came on. Yeah, uh, she, no. drinking the, the, the ciders and you were on the Patronus, weren't you? Yeah, we'd been up with a spoons and had a, had a skimful and uh, decided and agreed to come on. And um, I had three bottles of Patron uh, Patronus. And I remember I just sat there and I just turned the screen, I turned my, my camera off because I couldn't actually speak any further. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Faith, eight counts for nine pounds. Tesco bargain, and we all need a bit of faith at the moment. Faith's all right as well. Northern Monk, I prefer the pint glass myself. There's nothing wrong with a pint glass. No, time and place for it's what, it's what mood you're in, isn't it? It's what mood yeah. you're in. I um, I tend to, I've got, I've got salt um, tumblers that. John sent me down from Lord's Brewery, but they're salt and they're slightly bigger than this. So, and they just sit nicely in the hand. Uh, so, it, my, that's my go to um, glass at the moment is that, that, that I'll use that for most stuff if I'm sat at home. Mm. Yeah, it, it all depends on what I mean. If I've got like um, bottled, a bottled real ale. Then I'll just I'll just normally whack it in a in a long pint plus yeah or or if i've got a craft beer whether it's a supermarket one or a, a bottle shop one it'll either go in a taku or i'll stick it in that that gamma the gamma brewing that long thin stemmed glass that i've got i, I quite i use that quite a bit yeah it's like a pills in a glass yeah yeah, yeah pills in a glass uh forget the film just get ratted I quite like doing that. I've never. I watched the Mandalorian today as well, the new episode. So that's episode three now, is it? Yeah, episode three. I came home lunchtime and watched that. That's why I couldn't answer your call. Good <laughs> like, job. Fucking <laughs> uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. What a series that is. Um, been, have you watched any of them? You watched the first one, didn't you? I watched two now. Oh, you watched the two now. Yeah, yeah, loving it. It's yeah, it's got me up in up thinking line of mate. It's what, it's what I liked about last week's episode was fuck all happened. Absolutely nothing happened, really, to further the story on, but it was still brilliant. You just you just drawn into it. And to, uh, today's episode brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'll watch that. I might watch it later or watch it tomorrow. Yeah. 
You're trying to get beer wolf glass, can't seem to get them. Cannonball is very good. That's some uh, magic rock, isn't it? Cannonball. Yeah. Uh, I'll try again on Monday. Uh, mate, if you had got on a golden ticket, there would have been a... Yeah, I, there's no way I was ever going to get a golden ticket. If I, it would have been the biggest swindle this side of anything. So I came by, it, I was only teasing. I was saying, I wonder if I'm going up there. Oh, I better get a golden ticket. I do, it all, I do it laughing face because I don't expect anything. I, I said about um, Urban Island Brewing that I've got some beers from. They wanted to give us the beers to review. I didn't want to take them. I bought them. I, I, I'm not in it to take beers from people. Um, I do it because I want to support people. And I'll, 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 where I can, I'll buy the stuff. I think also you can – we've had this discussion, me and you, Dean. Um, you can be far more objective – and honest, if you've laid out your own money for something, yeah, yeah, that you've got, you've got, you've got room to manoeuvre if the beer is not up to scratch. Yeah, so you know, you, you've actually paid. You know, you've paid your hard-earned money on it. Yeah, um, if it doesn't live up to expectations, then you can vent that out in a review. Yep, yeah. it's 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 always a bit complicated isn't it i mean i've had stuff sent to me in the past before and i have enjoyed it not because it's book shield or anything but i've just enjoyed it but it could go the other way where you think oh, you know this is shit this is but bless them they sent it to me you know a care package 10 beers a glass a t-shirt whatever you know <laughs> yeah it just it throws you off doesn't it you feel a bit it's difficult then, isn't it? It's very difficult to be um, honest. I mean, we, we try. I know I've got someone that sits next to me more often than not is the most honest pe person you'll ever meet. So if she doesn't like it, it doesn't matter if it's been fucking sent or not. She's going to tell you she don't like it. Um, but she'll say it in a diplomatic way. There was what Yeah. 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 I, I, I'll put my hands up. I've said before um, certain beers and I've, I've said oh this is fucking awful and blah 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 and all that you know i could go about it a different way and just say yes yeah, not doing it for me sorry you know well, i think sometimes you will get, we'll get, we'll get a bit hit up, hit up by things don't we yeah yeah just just a little bit of passion in it that's all it's just come comes through a different sort of channel I bought the salt beer brewing 12 pack and the beer I expected to dislike was Guji and I actually quite liked it. I don't think I've had, I can't remember the ones I had. There was one I had, I think it was called Different World. Um, it was fucking, all, it was crap. Utter crap. I think I told you it was crap as well in the, in the, um, um, the review. It was just, did nothing, nothing, nothing badly, but nothing well either. Cannonball is a banging West Coaster. Which is hard to find these days. Definitely a bit hit and miss with their other stuff. If you like a West Coast IPA, get it's oh, it's fucking from uh, Fallen Acorn. It's in a green can. I'll message you. It's it's belting, absolutely belting, proper old school West Coast IPA. How they should be done, um, and it's going to bug me what it's called. Let me two seconds uh, for the way on. Just talking of cannonball. Mm. I, I mean, I've had cannonball before, and it is a belter, but I've never actually done that. Where they done that that, that cannonball run thing? Yeah, I've never done that. On, They're yearly, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Variations of the cannonball. Yeah, um, wave of light is the beer. Absolute cracker. Six point seven percent West Coast IPA, four and eight corn, four and a half, five quid a can. Uh, I'm back, stuffed after dinner. What beer are you on to? Well, I've just I'll tell you, I've finished the um. Yeah, yeah, one. I'm ready to go on the uh, alpaca, mate. You go know, for the doesn't contain any alpacas. <laughs> Actually, I wonder who it is. Let's see where we are. 
Where are you? Where are you? I'll see where she's gone. I've got a 900 finger head. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite lively, that one. Loads of pineapple. Yeah, it's. I love it. The way Just, you do um, that. Fruit bowl, isn't it? It is, yeah. But you get. Well, I can't actually remember about anything about the review, to be fair. Did we do this? We did this as a, as a joint one, didn't we? No, that was um, Tram. Tram, yeah. Another another belter. Absolute fucking storm. Yeah, pineapple, orange peel. Mm. You got that creamy whiff about it as well, in there. Yeah, it's a nice it goes through to to the nose with that nice, cream. Nice bitterness coming up the nose as well. Yeah, lovely. Cheers, pal. Cheers, mate. Mm. I'm filling that straight back up. <laughs> it's lovely. Really, yeah. really. Um, nice sweetness to it. I just I, I just love that that creamy hoppiness. Yeah. The the hoppiness really comes through and it's all the way through. It's not it's not short. No. It's it's it, it sits and lingers. Mm. Yeah, super ripe fruits galore, isn't it? Yeah. Everything you want, isn't it? No sign of 6.6% anywhere. No. Nah. It's lovely. Yeah, beer, beer, beer of the night. Oh, fuck. It's beer. It's simple, isn't it? It was yeah, always going to be. It was always going to be. No contest. Uh, Mandalorian is so good. Enjoying it more than the first series, plus the production quality is higher. Um the production quality in the, the episode I watched today is stunning. It, and the story really moves on this week. It's fucking brilliant. Mm. Um, I'm waiting for a few, few more weeks to get Disney Plus again so I can binge on The Mandalorian. We were planning, oh, me and Dean had this conversation. I was planning to not watch any episodes until they were all up and then couldn't wait any longer. Yeah. It got it, it got the better of you, didn't it? it? Yeah, it did. And plus, Wanda's a massive fan of the Mandalorian as well. Um, and we were both sort of, should we? Should we not? Um, mm. And then it just gone through. The other series that um, we're watching on um, Disney Plus is the Right Stuff, um, which is the first, is the, the dramatization of the first American in space. Um, that's on episode seven, I think now. And that's fantastic. It's a cracking program. Absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, Sega Sox says, I thought the first series was amazing. You ain't going to get any um, unbelievers here, Darren. I'll tell you that. I will take free beer, but I not, might not review it. It seems to go down quite quickly around here. The amount of beers... Um, the amount of beers... I've bought to review, and Dean will attest to this, that suddenly sort of fucking disappear and I yeah. don't actually get around to fucking reviewing. It's yeah. shocking. We, we, we've, we've had a conversation before where, it, you know, me, me, and, me, and, me and my good mate here, we, we talk on more or less a Yeah. Whether it's text message or a quick video call. Anyway... We've, we've 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 had these ideas in our heads before with old lives, days gone by, of doing a doing a collab of a couple of beers. Yeah. This fucker here, he sends me a message. I've drunk them. <laughs> yeah. It was, the, it was the empty stout one, wasn't it? it yeah. Was the empty stout. Me. <laughs> so when it, when it, I, I'm the worst because I go in there. And I, I genuinely, I don't buy beer from, I've got away from the, um, I'm still excited about our channel, but I've got, I've gone, I've, I'm away from the excitement of buying beer. 
So I'll buy beer to review. Obviously, I get excited about it, but I don't buy beer on a massive scale. So and I did it last night. So we were sitting there, me and Wanda had a date night. Um, I had, went up to Tesco's in the day. I bought uh, two cans of layer cake. I bought a can of 50 mile round trip and North Bridge. So I thought that'll do me. I'll just have two. I cooked her dinner. Um, I had the two cans and I'm like, Ugh. I'll do my fucking dinner. I thought, right, oh, fucking ain't gonna be enough. So I thought, well, I'd nip around to get Tesco's and get some get some puddings, and I picked up a bottle of beer, beer and Moretti, just something to to, Not, to drink. Yeah. Uh, and then we had in the the stuff we picked up from the beer musketeer. I had that um, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin dark side, uh, the pumpkin spice, uh, the pumpkin stout, and I drank that. Because I had nothing else. <laughs> so it's just I go in the kitchen and I think, oh, I'll have that. <laughs> yeah, there. I've got I've got to have it. It's gone. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, it's it's hard though when you've got I mean, I've got a few beers that, that keep sort of giving me the eye. And I'm thinking I want to do it when I'm in the mood to do it, if you know what I mean, and not and yeah. not just do it for the sake of it almost, you know? Yeah. But I mean, as for supermarket beers, uh, is, the way I see it is, you you a, a new beer comes out, a new wave of beers comes out, and f for us anyway, we, we want to try them because of curiosity. If it delivers, and you go back and you buy it again for personal pleasure, it's mission accomplished, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because you um, enjoy. It, 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 you know, enjoying it. Yeah, it's um the even if you're it, it's for personal pleasure anyway, and then the day no one else is tasting that beer with you. So it's it, whatever you buy is for, for personal pleasure, really. Right, let's wait through some of these. Um ooh, 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 ooh. I can see your what you're saying regarding to reviewing. It's 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 is what it is, isn't it? You get used to it. Um, Wave of Light. Wave of Light from um, Fallen Acorn is a cracker. Um, Scotland going to the Euros. They're in England's group, aren't they? Mm. That should be good. Yeah. yeah, looking forward to that. I decided for the month of November I can't buy any beers over three uh, Euros limit range. That's a good idea as well. I like that. Uh, I'm going to get off to play some games, but we'll catch you later. Have fun and take care. Cheers, Darren. Um, we're going to try and get Darren on um, at some point next year. Um, lots going on this year, so it'll probably be next year. So we'll, we'll grab him on at some point as well. Um, if I remember correctly, Dean said alpaca could well be Salt's best beer. Probably I said that, yeah. I, I, I can't even remember what I said this morning, mate. So I'll take your word for it. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, from the salt beers that I've had, it stands out. That that and Tram. Tram. Tram's a cracking beer. Yeah. I can't. I can't. We can't. We're going to fucking call it. It's a game with this one, though, isn't it, I think, with the alpaca, <laughs> compared to what you're getting from Tram. Yeah. Oh, Tram. Tram was about 8%, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 6.6. Yeah. .6. This, this is more... I think this is more fruit forward. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, to, uh, congratulations to Scotland. Um, never been into Star Wars or oh, oh, fucking Star Trek. No. The original stuff was good because it was cheesy. It made me laugh. Yeah. Now, I mean, I've, I've not watched it. Cause you got all these bloody Discovery and Voyager. and I didn't mind Voyager. Was it Voyager? No, I lost it. Next generation, I just lost it after that, really. Uh, always get more than you think you'll drink. Schoolboy era, Scott. Yeah, well, I'm terrible. I am terrible. It's just... And the amount of times I said to one, they said, oh, what are we reviewing today? I'm like, I'm fucking drunken. <laughs> they've, already, they've gone. And then we went up to the, um, the beer musketeer last week, and I had a figure in my head of what I wanted to spend, and then come out having spent, like, fucking 70 odd quid and i didn't realize i mean uh one of the amundum beers was 13 and a half quid on its own i almost fell over didn't realize 
Mm. I'm hoping it'd be good. It better be good. Why well, are you fucking drinking that without reviewing it? I tell you that. <laughs> uh, uh, must get hold of tram. Which supermarket is it from? That's from uh, Morrison's, isn't it, tram? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Josh Edwards, you need to get more beer mats made for people to buy, I reckon. A few would sell for sure. The beer mat, so um, Dean's got one. After, um, I've, got, I've got the original. You've got the original one, uh, the Wonder Beer Wonder Mat. Um, so when I was giving out the, the prizes for the shit beer giveaway, um, I was looking at stuff to put in there, and in the shed there was, I think I had four, uh, Barry's got one, I think. Um, you've got one. I've got one. And I think Josh and Nick Charlick, who was the winner of the competition, I sent one out to each of them. I'm saying cherish them because they no longer exist. Yeah. And that was it. Wanda didn't even know about that. I just ordered them. They cost me about, I think they cost me about a tenner for about, I don't know how many I bought, eight, something like that. And it was just a bit of fun, really. And they actually came out really well. Yes, it did. Yeah. Well, well no, Tesco's online or something, I think it was. So ridiculous. I was like, oh, I can do that. Good, good quality to them as well. She's got a T-shirt as well with Guess the IBUs on it. I might give that away as a fucking prize at some point. <laughs> Scott and Wanda Beer Bats, definitely. Yeah, there are. There are. They are in existence. Uh, if you look at the video that we do in the shed, there is one on the... Behind me, I think it is. Um, so D Dean's got one in his shed, and there, there are a couple floating around, but that's all I've got left now. Um, I might get some more made up. I made an error, finished off my pack of ghost ship, so onto the lemon squash now. I can help you drink that then. Yeah, Boogaloo, Robinson's collab. So you, um, you took a, a bit of time off um, to recharge your batteries. Um, glad to be back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I needed it, mate. I needed it. I just felt, I think, just life got in the way a little bit, you know, mentally and all that. Yeah. And I just needed to, I needed to walk away a little bit. Yeah. But I'll, I'll always, I'll always have a, a soft spot for beer. It's just, I don't know, you get that, you get, you buy it on it and that's it then. You won't let go of it. It's it's it becomes part of you. You you you're fascinated by it all. All spectrums of beer as well. That's not just craft. You know, macro, dabble dabble with everything. Me, I love it. Your, your brain's always whirring, isn't it? When you when you do something like when you set up people in the chat that have got channels and um, I know um, Toby um, buys a lot of beer, Tyrannosaurus. Um, your your brain's always whirring. Um, and even, even wonder someone that's obviously I, I set this channel up for a laugh and it's sort of taken up. it's taken up yeah it's blossomed into what it's blossomed into um and bless her heart she's people you said to, well, i've said to this on on um on lives before she used to get a lot of criticism for not being invested in the channel um and she is She's more invested now than she's ever been. Um, she finds beers. I'll get. I'll go off to work some days, and I'll get a message saying, "Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you seen this?" So, and I think her character, really, I think she's really blossomed into the channel, probably in the last six, seven months, uh, mm. and really found her own feet uh, on it now as well. And I've, I've always said. And I stand by it. Without her, there, there is no channel because it's about me and her. Obviously, she's not here tonight. Um, we've done a few weird and wonky lives, um, cooking and other bits and pieces. I said I wanted to do just a straight beer thing with you and, and Barry if you wanted to join in. She was quite happy with that. Um, but, yeah, it's um, it's been fun. I've, I've enjoyed it. I don't take, you know me. I don't take it seriously. Um, no, just have a giggle, yeah. Yeah, but it's it, 
there are, there are, there are, there are, there are drink and sort of like get hold of you. There are there are other reviewers, shall we say, that will take it more seriously than I ever do. Yeah. And that's all lost. Yeah, yeah. You just 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 go with it. Go with the flow, mate. Do do what you do. That's you. You found your rhythm now. You're yeah. in. You're in that slipstream. Yeah. And you just churn out the stuff, don't you? You know. Josh Edwards says, "Ace hey, quite rare. It's getting pinned up in my dad's garage bar we have built. Pin it on the wooden beams with the other beer clips, etc. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm assuming you're um, a, a subscriber of Dean as well. If you're not, you really should be." Because uh, Dean's the best beer reviewer on fucking YouTube. Quick, concise, hey. and out. Yeah. And that's what we want to see. Don't want to see fucking two people rabbiting on for fucking 12 minutes. Um, I ran out of beer a couple of years ago and ended up getting into a row with the missus because I wanted a bottle of red. Couldn't find a bottle screw, so improvised with a drill. I got wine on the wall. <laughs> Love it. Love it. That's brilliant. Slip and then added on. I slept in the spare room that night. <laughs> Brilliant, uh, guys. Get Pell forth for your sub. Try that. I like that blonde. I, say, I know my mates had Pell forth. Yeah, I preferred that. Out. Um, I think I got the Pell forth and the after gem, and I preferred the Pell forth. Over the aflagem as a as a blonde. Yep. I, I, I've done, we, we've done the aflagem. I quite like that. It's all for right. Me, for me, for me, I thought aflagem was better colder than it was. Well, obviously, you get it up a bit warmer. It wasn't great. What it was it, it, to drink it at the temperature they wanted me to drink it at. I thought it was better colder. Okay. Yeah, because it what was it about three degrees, is it? Yeah. Three? Yeah. Um, Craig says, I hope, I'm hopefully coming back reviewing next week. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, no, you get back, get back into the swing of things, mate. A bit yeah. of normality. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know you've popped on a few people's lives and stuff, and you did your live stream the other night. Yep. Yeah, you'd be water for ducks back, wouldn't it? You'd just get straight back into the slipstream of it all. It gives you um, gives you something to concentrate your mind on, Craig. So yeah, good to have you back, bud. Uh, as Jagman said and says, good to have you back. I've just clicked on the wrong fucking one. Uh, Wonder is great. There's lots of channels of overweight middle aged men banging on about beer, but there's only one Wonder. <laughs> yeah. Not so much of the fucking middle aged mate. That's a bit rude. I'll take this overweight every day of the week. <laughs> uh, never take uh, myself too seriously. I do what I do just because I enjoy it. Same reason I enjoy watching your videos, Scott and Dean. You can tell you enjoy your beer. I do. I love it. I do. Well, I it. think it shows me it's a passion. Uh, I, 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 like. I think I've got one now. Yeah, what I, yeah. What I like about you is you can tell instantly if you don't like a beer. I think it's cracking because there's a look you get a look on your face. Yeah, yeah. Fucking just sinks in. I'm like I'm like that in life in general though. If I'm pissed off about something, then you'll see it. It's not just about the beer, but though it shows it shows through when 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 I get a cracker, it's like you, you just can't hide it. It's it's perfect. Yeah. Um, I think I think um, I think I did something the same on the the, the Cocodocus earlier. I just I got, you know you just can't hide where you're happy with something. You done it. It gets about right. Yeah, it, it's where it's pretty where you. I mean, obviously the the original was Wanda's. I think it's still Wanda's favourite drink ever. Um, and for obviously they've upped it by four percent, and it terrified her. Um, but they've done it. They, you, you can taste the alcohol. The, the alcohol is present, but they have hid it in a very, very clever way. What is it? 10.3. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. Uh, it's, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's a cracking beer. Probably the best beer I've had this year. 
Um, Jay, JV says he's not overweight. I am. No, you're not. You're just big boned. Well, I'm not. I'm just. I, I just need to be about. I've worked it out. I need to be 14 foot six for my weight. <laughs> uh, John's uh, Lord's Brewing Company. John, don't give me money. I'm not interested in money. Oi, oi, you bummers. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> Love you. Um, Super Goon 1977. Good live chat, both. I'm sat here with a selection of German beers from Beerhawk. Dropped a bollock with my first one by chilling down a dark beer too much. Dean, discuss. Dark beer? Dark beer. So we've got about a stout. Yeah. See, I'm probably in the minority. I don't mind a chilled down stout every now and then. I, I prefer something room temperature. If it's yep. if it's a, a big, brash, bold stout, then I'll go room temperature on it. Mm -hmm. Having said that, um, I drink a hell of a lot of Westmount doubles, and yep. I've I've I found a I've chilled a couple of bottles of that, and I've enjoyed it a little bit more. Oh, okay, so horses for courses again, isn't it? It's what it's what you want to. It's quite funny because obviously I'm going to rabbit on about Cocodocas as well. Last year. I can drink Cocodocus at both, so room temperature or cold. I actually prefer it cold, and I don't know why. Maybe it's the chocolate. Maybe it's the chocolate because of the 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 chocolate count in it. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Just just playing about again, isn't it? With uh, you don't you don't have to go off any go off any script. Where they, where they sort of recommend that you drink um, a, a real ale or, or a stout at room temperature or below, just it's not set in stone, is it? You no. know, it's, that, it's down to you at the end of the day. I think, I think, I, there is um, there is an absolute um, truth to the fact that a stout does open up more um, with at room temperature. Yeah. You coming to join in for a bit? So that's not no, 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 you can come and join in if you want to. Um, what, you Hi, Dean, you all right? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good. I bought these from Co-op to try, uh, the Christmas ones. There's turkey and stuffing. So we've got snacks. Turkey and stuffing flavoured potato crisps. Oh, shit. Um, and pigs in blankets. And pigs in blankets. Mm. Or my ex-wife sleeping. Mm -hmm. Which one? Right. I think they just taste like bacon crisps. They're just bacon. Yeah, and try them. They're quite nice. You can taste the sage in that and onion. They're better than them. Yeah, they just taste like bacon crinkle crisps. Mm. Well, tur nice. Turkey and stuffing ones are lovely. Yeah, do you want some more? No, no. Yeah. That's that interlude. Meant no offence, I'm an overweight middle aged man who bangs on about beer as well. Is that much? Yeah. Evening, John. How are you doing, mate? The lovely Mr. Slumbers. Go and give John some love over on his channel as well. Always, always, always good. Bradley Evans. Oh, uh, hello, John. John says, I'm good. How are you? Everyone saying hello to John. Lee W up in Leeds. Evening all. Everyone saying hello to everyone else. So I'm going to skip all through them. Um, John's knackered because he fucking goes everywhere. Mark Morgan. Uh, Belgian beers frequently say temperature to chill. Uh, two on the bottle. I know you, you've done a few, quite a few Belgian beers, haven't you? Yeah, mostly dark stuff. Taking a real interest in them. Yeah, no, I do. I do love it. It's it's old, classic, traditional, not messed about with. Um, I'm digging what I'm drinking at the moment from them, I must admit. I've got I've got a, a few Chimay beers I need to knock back. Yep. But yeah, I love it. 
Well, I've done a few. I did the um that new um the triple you did, didn't you? The triple. That was okay. That was really nice. Um, I did that one that Barry sent us, which was the the Belgian quad, uh, the chocolate quad, the barista, um, triple caramelé. I'm a huge fan of triple caramelé. Yeah, yeah. When I first got into beer and I was trying stuff, I turned my nose up at things like that. Too overpowering. It, it's it's different. I mean, I was the same with stouts. If I'm honest, when I started the channel, wasn't a huge stout fan. Um, the more that I've done this, the more I've learned to appreciate not just a stout but an imperial stout. Um, and it's you you find yourself trying things that you never tried before. Um, and yeah, love it. Mm. Yeah, uh, you, you can't beat an imperial stout in the in the especially this time of year, cold and dark at night. Love an imperial stout. Yeah, especially with the the nights drawing in, shitty yeah. weather, shitty Just weather. Comfort, comfort in a glass, isn't it? Yeah, and sit and sip it, as as our friend Rob John would say. Sip it, sip it. Uh, John, uh, my Chinese has come. Got to go. Love you all. Great to see you back, Dean. And I echo those sentiments enormously. You're, you're the only one that'll have me on, mate. Well, then, no one wants me on either, I mean, to be fair. <laughs> I think we're just sort of out in the wilderness on our own now. Uh, no man's land. I'm up I'm like with that. I can live in no man's land. It's absolutely fine. Ostracised. Ostracised from a community. Annexed. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't worry. It's not being, we're not being serious. Um, what beers you got coming up, mate, on your channel? Uh, I don't know, actually. Don't know. Um, what am I going to do tomorrow? What am I going to do tomorrow? I don't know. I haven't got a clue, mate. Depends what yeah. mood I'm in. You've got nothing backed up. No, nothing backed up. No. No. Just Run go with it. At the moment. I've got I've got plenty of beer in the cupboard. Um, it's just what what takes my fancy. Okay. Yeah, I've I've uh, I've got the state. I've got that. Um, the Cocodocus is done. Uh, we've spared no expense to do at some point. Um, two urban islands. I've got to get down to South Sea Brewing Company to pick two of theirs up. And that'll probably be me for the month, I think. Um, you know, uh, definitely good. Urban Island. I might do one for another Fallen Acorn as well. Um, but I want to keep um, this month fairly light on content, really, mainly for money. Mm. Um, no, I get that. I get that. Uh, just two likable lads that you could drink in the pub with and good banter. Well, me and Dean speak most days. Uh, we, we, really we will meet up one day, won't we? We <laughs> won't be. There is a chance. <laughs> We've literally crossed each other on the fucking motorway, haven't we? We, 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 we have crossed on a motorway once. Uh, obviously, if with, with all this shit that's going on in the world, it would have happened sooner. Mm. Um, but yeah, we will get there. Um, and I'm sure there'll be some fun and games and videos made as well at some point for a laugh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a good, a good bit of fun. Yeah. Uh, evening gents. I just had a Choco Libra from Brewdog. Very nice. I quite like, I, I did that when I did that when Wanda was away. I think, did I do that with the firecracker chili? Choco Libra. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you come and say hello for five minutes? Well, you no, know, no, it's our channel, not mine. Okay. You sure? Yeah. To make sure she's all right. Um, I might get another beer. I think I'll bloody join you on that. Yeah. One more. Can you pick some up?
them in the fridge. Right. I'm back. Back again. Uh, what's your beer of the year so far, Dean and Scott? Um, I can't tell you my beer of the year, uh, Toby, because it would probably ruin a review that we've just filmed. What are you watching? What are you doing? Um, I'll, I'll turn that um, question around to the people in the chat. Um, what's the favourite beer you've had this year? Um, my one. Being falling over. Um, my favourite beer of this year is this. Cocodocus. I, I mean, the, the, the Mark 1 version was fantastic. I know you, you kindly sent me a, a can of that, and I thought that was a belting stout. So, the Imperial version, it's going to be fucking sublime, mate. It, it wins in beer of the year, can art of the year. Fucking all the all the stout, uh, all the, the things for me. I'm having a, having a little trap. Oh, um, I've gone for, and it's going to be no shock. Punk IPA. Punk IPA. Wanda picked up up at the shop when she walked out the shop for me. So yeah, um, it's an absolute. Pile of shit, but it's my pile of shit, and I like it. Yeah, that's it. You enjoy it, mate. You enjoy oh, it. So yeah, um, what's your beer of the year, Dean? Um, Toby says. Fucking hell, beer of the year. I have to think about that. It's a hard one, isn't it? There's been, there's, there's been some real bloody bouncers. Yeah, I mean, it's it. It depends what sort of what angle you're going to go at. Are you going to go on supermarket beers, or are you going to go on sort of like bottle shop online beers? Because there's, there's a few either side of the fence for me. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a very difficult one to to pick out on it because you've you've got price range to consider, um, availability yeah. to consider, um, and, and all all sorts of things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's been some stormers though. I must admit this year has been as much as it's been sort of like doom and gloom with obviously COVID and all that. We've had some real good experience with beers. Yep. Yeah, it's been um, it, um, for for me, I was very very impressed with that. It's lovely. Um, that's can wonder I'll add that tomorrow. Well, I've I've had the one tonight. She can have that tomorrow because um, she'll just sip that. Um, all mortal evening, mate. Hope you're doing all right, pal. Uh, Magic rocks. What are the odds? Double dry hopped IPA beer of the year for me. That's the tall boy four forty, isn't it? They changed it. I remember that, that 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 came out. That's not a new beer. That's been around for ages. Mm. I remember Nick from All Hail the Ale. It was his favourite beer of a couple of years back. Um, and I think they put out Luminance or after. I think Luminance was one of the first, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's. Um, I think I think they've changed the recipe for the supermarket for that. Okay. 
Um, uh, Thomas, O'Hara's Tropical IPA Supermarket Beer, reasonably priced. It's okay, beer of the year. Yeah, uh, I had the pleasure of trying a O'Hara's beer that Thomas sent me. I think mean, it was their stout. It was decent. I think I think uh, the first um, stout that Wander actually liked on the channel was from O'Hara's. O'Hara's dry Irish stout. It was the first one which actually changed her mind ever so slightly. Um, my favourite beer that I've had this year was the Syntax Imperial Peanut Butter Stout, kindly sent to me by Brian the Beer Snob. Not sure if it can be found over here, but I'll be searching for it again. I like Brian the Beer Snob, actually. quite quirky. Oh, hang on. Oh, bollocks, hang on. I need to the comments because I'm useless at this. Uh, so Toby says, top three, banana and chocolate barrel-aged stout, uh, MP stout from Vocation. We had that, loved it. Uh, saturated in strata by Daya, and 12 yellow legs triple IPA by Cloudwater. And spared, um, more, or staggeringly good spared, no expense is a close fourth. Mm. So, question from Paul Mortal. Question to you both. If you weren't doing a live stream about beer tonight, what other subject would you live stream about? Well, indeed. <laughs> you open that one up. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I know he ain't going to argue with me. I reckon we could have a Star Wars, me and you, do a Star Wars themed live stream. I'd be up for that. At some point. Um, Wanda, um, if we weren't doing, um, me and Dean were doing this today, what themed subject live stream would you do? Now we're trying to watch it. Disney. Yeah. Disney. Wanted to do a Disney one. Well, we can we can link that up with Star Wars now, can't we? Star Wars. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we can link that in. That's fine. You're okay there. There's no beauty in the frigging beast. <laughs> uh, what would you like to see, Paul? Uh, that sounds lovely. Uh, so, um, Jagman says, Strangers by Beak, uh, Beak Brewery, really decent. I haven't had anything from them, but I've heard, I've heard again, I've heard good things about Beak. Yeah, I've heard about Beak. Um, personally, beer available this year has been pretty poor, don't seem to have the range which is available in the UK. So, obviously, Thomas is over in Ireland and they get dealt the shitty straw, don't they? They, they've been shafted, haven't they, with the, the supermarket stuff? Yeah, they don't get half the shit it's that we That's criminal, though, that is, isn't it, really? I don't know. If, I, don't, I think Lidl and Aldi's have their own separate range over there as well. I mean, I'm sure Thomas will um, correct us on that. Um, it's just, it doesn't doesn't make any sense to me. No. And the, the, I think it, the import and the, uh, the export of beer in Ireland is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of money. Hello. Is that is that um is that a little three thirty mil Paul? That's yeah, no, that's that's that's, that's, that's the four forty, isn't it? The yellow. It's got like a, a is it like a bluey greeny tin? No, I haven't come across that one then. It's the one. Is it, got, is it Sabro? Is it the Sabro one? The yellow might be. Can't remember. Um, I, I have had that. I've got a can. I've never, never reviewed it. Um, another one that was there and just sort of drank by accident. I really enjoyed the Barney Stout. I was waiting for Wanda's um, input then. And the Coco Noco too. Uh, so I think Spear Style of the Year for me has to be Stout. I, I'm a, I do like a Stout. I don't drink many Stouts, but it is one of my favourite styles. Yeah, I, I I stay clear of them in the that that spring summer. It's all lagers and IPAs for me. Yeah, back end of the year, that's when stouts come into play for me. 
Yeah. It's just the, the, the weather, the, weather the, the climate, the the type of beer, especially if it's an imperial style. It just, it, I don't know, it just means, it means more. The back comfort. end of the beer. It's like a comfort beer, isn't it? Like it's comforting. Yeah, I love it. So Toby says, bollocks, I wasn't going to drink tonight, but all this talk, drink about beer, what are you both on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on the, um, I'm on simple. I've got simple. Punk IPA. Um, Le Trap Isidore. Nice. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Decent stuff from the trap. You ain't got the glass, have you? It's all right. I thought you were going to get the glass in. I was going to have to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, what, what's everybody else drinking in the in the comments? We've got um, 16, 17 people watching. <laughs> I promise Wanda that we go about nine. So we'll give about five minutes and then we'll be off. How many people have smashed that like button? Smash the fucking smash. like button. Smash, smash, smash. It. smash. Hello. It's fine because I'm doing Christmas shopping. Oh, she's doing Christmas shopping. And more importantly than that, we've got a knobhead. Is Captain Peggy? Not so, so, not so much Captain Keggy now. We got a oh, knob in. That's beneath you now, is it? Hey, is that beneath you now, Captain Keggy? Well, now no, he's just ain't got enough kegs now. Now he's oh. trying to promote his own channel. He's he's gone away from Captain Keggy. He's coming with his all his all singing, all dancing personality, isn't he? Oh, How's here we go. Been, been slating me while I haven't been on. Nah, we wouldn't do that, Bess. Um, how's your bum hole? I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got plenty of loop roll? No fucking movement yet, mate, I'll tell you. No, it'd be about two o'clock in the morning, mate. That's why yeah. I had the bloody Reaper. Bit, mate, I had that Reaper curry about, about two four, maybe. Shit in lava. <laughs> Why do these bed sheets work? <laughs> yeah. What are you drinking, Bess? What am I drinking? I've actually just done a review of uh, Bad Seed. Well, it's from Bad Seed. And it's yeah. a can yeah. of their Hefeweizen. Slocken Hefeweizen. Nice. Past its best as well. Past its Which best. I kind of had an idea. Because the price of them. This that was, was my uh, beers I got yesterday. But it's right. all right, yeah. It's pretty decent, to be fair. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it's. It, I would say it's a cross between a Belgian wheat beer and a German wheat beer. I'm going to be honest, Barry. I preferred your sister. So do I. That's just over you. <laughs> got less of a beard. She had a bit less hair than you, you ugly cunt. Yeah. Uh, everyone's got less hair than me, man. Look a fucking yeti in a minute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Um, so, um, someone asked a question about uh, about five minutes ago, Barry. Um, Beer of the year that you uh, that me and Dean have had. What's your beer of the year? God. I'm still catching up with you lads, to be honest. I oh, know you fucking. Uh, it makes me laugh. You say oh, all these beers coming up on my channel, and you never see them because you uh, you got that much backlog. It's fucking horrendous. I right, honestly, you, the Belgian beers are coming. The Belgian beers, honestly, it's a nightmare. I just I buy when I can. Yeah. But I'm too keen to put the videos up of what's coming. And then it's like the Yorkshire Ripper, isn't it? He done oh. all his job like 30 years ago. And now he's like, you know, he's dead now. So we'll see all his videos. There goes my Don't worry. I was messing. Yeah, yeah. I was messing. I was <laughs> messing. 
But you know what I mean? You just get behind, didn't you, on your work? I'll, I'll, I'll just turn the monetization off of this one now, shall I? Oh, mate, it's gone. You lost it. I'm trying to kill you, mate. I'm trying to kill you. I'm 500 behind you. It don't fucking matter. If I'm going down, you'll come down with me. No, but... Game over. No, I'm, you just... I, I pick beers up on the can, and the Belgian ones are all coming out now. So... That was a, a decent little beer, all though, Baz. In all fairness, mate, you know you got some, you got some pretty good beers there. Yeah, well, like I said, I, I bought from the Bastion Outhouse before, and I, that's my kind of, it's my little pub that I've been to in the past and, and yeah. bought stuff, and then I noticed that we we have two pubs in Oster Street really that sort of make the effort to to do that and i noticed that they were doing stuff and i looked on the menu and there was there was some good beers on there so i just thought do it. check with the yeah. missus first why not <laughs> i bet you blagged it though didn't you i bet you i bet you, oh i only spent 15 quid love yeah. i'll be honest I'm, with you right to be I'm honest i'll be honest really. with you yeah don't add a one and a five in it i i didn't lie to her but I've had some nice profits on my work, so I actually use for the for the big one that I bought. I bought about eighteen from this one place. I actually used my profits for that one, and then spent <laughs> thirty quid in the other one. <laughs> but I did spend too much. But hey ho, you got to do it. You got to do it. Absolutely, it's what I do. I don't go out. I don't go nuts. So. <laughs> Unless I buy Carolina Reaper shit. So someone's saying Imperial Stouts and Porter Spring. We, we, me and Dean, um, last year we were talking about this earlier. We had um, a, we had the idea of uh, an. We used to do. Uh, we'll get back to it at some point. Beer wars, um, beer. Yeah. where we pit two beers up against each other, and it was going to be the bring out the imp against the Fuller's Imperial Stout. Yeah, yeah, and f we tried it about. To get it going about two or three times. Never happened, did it? You, you drunk them. I drunk them. Um, and then it just never happened for whatever fucking reason. And we'll, I know that I, I don't know if we uh, bring out the imp still in Waitrose or not. Yeah, no, it, it, is, it is in my one. I, I did notice it. We'll get back. We, we will get back to that. So we will, well, we'll bring Barry in on that as well. Um, and we'll, we'll and see what I can get, mate. Because I live right in the sticks, isn't it? Like, fuck yeah. it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll literally turn up with bring out the gimp. I will <laughs> where I live. Hang on, I'll just tell him, I'm just turning off my monetization again. <laughs> <laughs> Upcoming new breweries. I don't think they fucking are, are they? In a minute, they're done <laughs> in the world we live in. You're lucky if you've got one that's actually surviving. I, to be honest, I think there's a lot of breweries that people don't know about. Yep. Mm. Well, that's why I'm I'm trying to do. And why we, why on the subject of supporting local breweries? Mm. Salopian Brewery, where I live, they won't be. I'm guessing they're not a huge name. I don't know. No. But they they make some cracking beers, and I bought about six of them. In my video yesterday, I sent you one, Scott, the cashmere yeah. IPA. Yeah, you never did, reviewed you know it, but you said you it was it. blinder. I, um, it was. I um, I regret not reviewing that because I said to you, um, uh, off camera, I, I, it was a fucking belter, absolute belter of an IPA. That was it, was it was it was one then that it wasn't too craft beer, was it? No, for me, I would say it. It was kind of traditional, but it had enough craft beer in there to make it absolutely fucking so easy to drink. It was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, yeah. Hang on. Right, so it, we've got... Um, it was dangerous beer, to be fair. Tyrannosaurus 69, Barry's reviews are the bollocks, or just bollocks. Been catching up on them. Loved the October best one, although I hated the Spartan <laughs> stuff personally. Spartan, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's everyone's choice. It's like any beer, isn't it? You know, I, I like the Spartan one. 
the video was just there for good fun, really. Uh, you know, we all like different stuff, don't we? There's no right and wrong, really, with it. No. Uh, so this is this is a cracker one, guys. Um, everyone, so we have to drink the uh, the other person's least favourite style of beer all night. So we tell each other what we don't like or we're not a fan of. Oh, so, Berlin of Ice. Yeah, I'm not a so, sour fan. So, oh, in that case, then I, I thought we were going to cheat and go off air and say, right, I really hate this, really hate that, and really hate that. And we all like it, and then sit and drink it all night. But <laughs> if you're going to be yeah. like that, fucking Morrison's bitter. <laughs> Don't say that. I think this is one of my subscribers. A very big fan of the stuff. Uh, I was gutted you beat me to that. I was on about doing that stuff, but oh, fucking rubbish is like fucking drain drain fluid. Uh, where's Beak Brewery? Not heard of them before. I'm just going to Google them. Let me Google them. Beak Brewery. Beak Brewery. Are they like, um, East Midlands way? <clears throat> ba, 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 ba. They are Brighton way. Oh. Lose, Lou, Lewis, lose, Lewis, Lou. Lou. Yeah. Well done, mate. Um, I'll have to shoot now, guys. So, Chris um, from uh, B Dog Reviews, have to shoot, guys. Thanks for another entertaining evening. Really enjoy these sessions. Always a good laugh. We'll have to get you on, Chris, as well at some point. Um, go and go I've only joined in, but see you, Chris. <laughs> they was in. He was uh, watching me say that or something. So Jagman's actually answered that. Lewis, uh, so the Lewis down in um, Sussex, uh, they were in my local craft bar. I know the owner well. He said, try these new Beak beers, and they've all been good so far. I have to have a look out for them. I think Ari Blue Nose Beer Reviews, I think he's reviewed a couple of beers from Beak, and he spoke quite well, highly of them. The trouble is, it's fucking keeping up with everything, isn't it? You're... Um, the fuck never, do it, mate. never do it. Bar Barry's got his fucking perfect. The breweries bar. now are like dog shit, isn't it? Mm. To be fair, they go. They are they're everywhere. Them, turn the monetization up again. Barry's speaking. Yes, it's <laughs> it's constantly. Well, don't kill you this way. I'll kill you the other way, Scott. Don't worry. You're fine. I don't care. Barry. So uh, JB says, Barry, put that wig on. Just for me, our little secret. Mm. Hashtag fetish. <laughs> uh, um, it's him, Yeah, it's him. Um, night all, got to go, cheers. Um, stay safe. Thanks for does he want him. the wig on, does he? Does he really want it on? I'll bang it on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, go on, go put it on. Okay. I'm going to ruin the fucking bear with you before the end of the night. Hello? Uh, David Shortland. Hi, lads. I'm trying to find a really good West Coast IPA that's available now, like the best of ones. I find modern ones too clean. Any tips? Dean, West Coast IPAs? <laughs> West Coast RPAs, uh, plucking out. There's not many, is there? What supermarket ones? Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't state the supermarket. Um, just West Coast IPAs. Um, depends. What, um, David, if you're still in the chat, let us know if you're on about um, West Coast. Um, West Coast oh, 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 supermarket or just. Any brewery, go, go go straight in at the deep end, mate, and and stone stone ruination. Just go straight in at the deep end. Blow your. I've not had that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean they're about, aren't they? They're about that, 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 that um um uh, Pondera. Yeah. Dompera, yeah, Pondera, Pondera, Dompera, um the Thornbridge one that's in. 
uh, or was in uh, Morrison's. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, what was it with? Uh, Thornbridge Thorn and um, Firestone Walker. Firestone, yeah. That was okay. That's pretty good. Um, uh, Fallen Acorns, um, a, 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 something light. Shaft fucking ray, I don't know. Hang on. I've got it. Go back. Okay, now. <laughs> this one. Oh, hang on two seconds. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> and we'll, yeah, we'll fucking. So this one. This one's got, <laughs> yeah. Guess who's so back? For four Who was on. back? Hang on. Hang on. Wait a second. I'm coming. Right. I don't know what I've done here. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, exit solo. There, back. There he is. Oh, strike the poles. Fucking <laughs> <coughs> hell. Love a bit of hell, good, don't we? Right. I didn't want to make any money on this video anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap yourself out, mate. <laughs> don't give me. I don't give a shit. It's, um, oh, hang on. I'll push something. I shouldn't have done. Oh, fucking right. Beaker, uh, Beaker. We got Helga and Berliner. <laughs> okay. uh, so um, yeah. Uh, so uh, Toby says, yeah, mate. The the best thing about beer, no right or wrong, because it's everyone's personal taste. Although badly crafted beer is badly crafted beer, but even some of uh, trendy indies get it wrong. I don't disagree with that, didn't they? We're all different. Yeah, we're I know what he's different. on about. He, he commented on uh, my Spartan beer. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe he was criticising about AB and Bev, but right. it's not craft beer. It is mass produced, but it is yeah. a damn sight better than what you can buy. T Toby's, um, Toby's. Don't take you serious, man. Take the wig off. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, Toby sounds as a pound straight down the line. Um, tell you as it is. Oh my god, um, can I be really rude now? No, I've got I've got Beaker on a leaning up against a chair, right? Yeah, and I've put the wig over him. Yeah, can I put the camera onto him? Because you got to see this seriously. Look, Scott. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at my wife. Um, Mondera is a great shout. Oh, dear. it's a cracker. Joy Poor is underrated. Could drink that all night. I think Joy Poor is a, a nice go to beer for me. It's a, it's, um, it's a bog standard. Uh, for me, it was a, another one of the originals yeah. um, of, of the IPA sort of uh, standouts, really. Better in, better in bottles than in cans. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that. For me, Jai Per, again, who was that? That was a Tyrannosaurus, wasn't it? That said yeah, it's Toby. good. Yeah, Toby's a good lad. And that, that, that goes to show, doesn't it, the difference in taste? Yeah. Because I like Jaipur, don't get me wrong, but it's very average. Oh, it's it's um, it, it, it's acceptable though, isn't it? It's for, for me. But my point is, Dean, that he says about spate and being all mass produced shit, and I'm not getting in an argument with him, but spate and Lowenbrow, it's still a decent beer. But yeah, it, the the difference is is the taste, isn't it? Yeah, what you what you want from a beer, isn't it? Because a lot mm. of Thornbridge stuff is 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 very mass produced, isn't it? Tiny Rebel Brew Dog. Yeah, I think doesn't I think necessarily the, make it a bad beer. The tr the trouble with Thornbridge is, I think they maybe this is just my opinion on it, but I think when when they downgraded from five hundred mil bottles to three thirties. I think there was a bit of a sacrifice in ingredients. Yeah. I think in most in most businesses, 
but that, that happens, doesn't it? Yeah. In my view, I think it's just business thing, isn't it? That yeah. And Profit it could just be that little that five percent that could make the difference between being bang on. Yeah, it's make or break, isn't it? With, with that little, that little yeah. adjustment, it's make or break. Yeah. Uh, or so shall we make me. five million this year, or one million? <laughs> so Toby says, um, "That's why I like your reviews, Barry. You review stuff that everyone has dismissed. Joy pour out of the perfect draft. Fuck me, that's amazing." I don't review anything different. I just, I just give my views, same as everyone does. I'd like to think. I'm not right or wrong, am I? I'm no fucker. I mean, you two know. You were doing reviews before me, and I looked up to you two. So wrong. No such thing, can it? No, no, no. I done the old speckled end the other day, and I used to really enjoy that. But I actually sat down and thought about it, and that, and it 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 does kind of have what it, it promises so much, and it could be it. It probably just lacks. Yeah. But for I mean, people who just sit there and drink it, I can see why they like it. Yeah. You, Although you, the... you've got to you've got to remember that sort of thing, though, haven't you? When you, I mean, beers that you had way back, I used to love Badger. The, yeah. The Badger beers. I used to really love them. It got me into sort of real ales. Um, and I, I've gone back to them from time and time, but. I think because you, your palate develops over the time, you drink that many beer, different sort of types of beers, your palate just develops. And stuff like that just well, like, falls, I, yeah, falls short. I get what you're saying. But I also think when you start tasting more flavoursome beers, it's very easy to criticise other beers, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. You, you know, it's not necessarily that they're all bad beers, but... It's it's evolving so quick that it's it, it it's changing <laughs> all the time. You know? I mean, I mean, yeah, I find I mean, session I know, IPA is boring. And and you said before, I mean, when we've messaged each other before in private, and you've you've said you get that New England IPA burnout. Where it's cut, it's it's the same shit all the time. IPA New England, like just just that. It all moulds into the same. They are all the same, aren't they? There is so such a minimal difference that you kind of think, oh. yeah, you get you, you get dragged into it a little bit. That's why I I try and sort of like change it up a little bit, so you're not bogged down with yeah. the same sort of flavour profile all the time. Because it does, yeah. it just it just moulds into one. If you're drinking the same sort of style of beer all the time. It just it it's just the same. Yes, yeah. um, there's no um, there becomes no enjoyment in that because you're. I I I, I um class myself in this because when I started the channel, all I wanted to do was IPA, 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 West Coast, East Coast, uh, East Coast, whatever, and and you, it's very easy to fall into a very smooth routine of doing things but you it's you've got to change it up you have to yeah for, for, for your I, own side I, I think you've got a lot to discover yet, Scott oh yeah, yeah 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 I don't I don't disagree with that and that's that's not an insult that's yeah. I, you've done so well with your channel but you've got so much more there yeah, um, I don't. I, yeah, Barry, I don't. I don't take it as an insult. I've got rid of him. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking ugly. <laughs> Banned. Banned. Banned Blocked. for it. Blocked. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like block any. Dean do. Dean does all sorts. I will do probably more styles than you. I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of assuming that. But, yeah, I mean, you've got – and where you've got to with what you do, so you've got 
be nice to see Wanda trying some more. I, I keep nagging you for Hefeweizens tonight. The, 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 um, the, thing, the thing with our channel is what, what, what I've tried to do, and I've, I've gone through different thoughts on this, on, on all sorts. I've tried different bits and pieces. And what I, ha what I have to do is, and it, it is important, is I have to take Wanda into consideration. So yeah. um, um, Wanda is, it drives me mental because the first question I get from Wanda is, do they do a stout, right? And, and, and any How brewery, strong is it? How many IBUs? Uh, she, she, she's not worried about that too much, but do they do stouts? Is it chocolate? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and so we, we, we to and fro on that. Um, I like to... I like to do things that people can get hold of. Um, and that's, I hope that's not a dig at me. No, 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 it's not. It's, it's, it's not. It's not it's I remember not, a video you done while I was on holiday. On holiday. Uh, no, it's, you it's mentioned not about fears at people. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. It's not a dig at anybody, Barry. It's. Um, I like. We, we've settled into a comfort zone of. I like to do beers that people can get hold of. So if the, the little stuff comes out, I'll do what I can of them. Um, the Tesco stuff, I'll do what I can of them. Um, but also within that, obviously this month we're supporting local and not everybody can get hold of them. I understand that. But you've got people that set themselves out, and I'm not going to mention any names, of high-end beers that they want their subscribers, want them to fucking see and all this other shit. And um, we sit right at the bottom of that. Um, so my, my budget doesn't allow me to go too mad. Okay, so that's, that's yeah. where we sit. Um, I'm quite happy in that, that little zone at the bottom of uh, reviewing supermarket beers, um, but stuff that people can get hold of with the odd expensive beer sat in there as well and the odd sub um or crop or torp or whatever and that's where i think i've i've, I've found my happiness that's that's your oh, groove yeah 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 that's I, I, I think everyone should try and do sort of all sorts myself hmm. but i wouldn't tell anyone what to do uh hmm. i'll just can i just comment on bradley evans yeah. Uh, yes, Bradley, yeah. I do like me darts. Uh, big darts fan, always have been, blah, blah, blah. I like and darts as well. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Always play darts. My man cave is darts as well, so, yeah. But, I, 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 I mean, beer-wise, I mean, I mean, I can't come in here and tell you what to do, can I? Because you, oh. <laughs> you two are veterans <laughs> compared to me, but... Can, well, I, ju I just think you should, you, you should do whatever you want. No, you can tell you can tell us what There's to do, no Barry. Rule, you can tell us to do what, uh, Barry. But this is what happens. <laughs> Blocks. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. No, well, no, I, I don't give a fuck. I'll be the same. Tell me what to do. <laughs> I think you're experimenting isn't it? and messing about with. Um, I mean. We've all got our, enjoy sort of like, beer. we've got our safety net beer styles, haven't we? You know that we that we clutch onto. Me, yep. Pilsners, stouts, um, and, and a good IPA. Yep. You know, uh, yeah. but but it's nice to dip your toes in the water with all the styles to play about, yeah. test the palate. You might not like it, but. It's an experience in its own, isn't it? You know, whether it's a fucking sour, a Berliner Weiss, a Lambic, whatever. I've so got to admit, I'm starting to enjoy them. They're not saying I'd have a session on, but certainly the Belgium style sort of sours, fruit beers, whatever you want to call them, really. Yeah, fruit beers. So the fruity sort of um, uh, funky beers, aren't they? The fucking, um, I'll tell you what, the fucking Belgians get them bang on. Well, they should now, be. they are saying you could have a session on, but you, you would spend a fucking fortune. Uh, so, really, 
Toby says, I get annoyed when people dismiss something without trying it. I've been trying to convince my brother, who only drinks macro lagers, to drink uh, to try IPAs. I don't like the funny aftertaste on those ales. Can I comment? Yeah, you go. There you go, mate. I used to be a lager drinker. I used to be a big Budweiser drinker. Uh, the father-in-law got me into... I'm not having Budweiser drinkers on my stream. <laughs> I don't drink it now, mate. I'm thinking yeah, to get a keg on the PD just to waste. Can you believe that? Uh, but no, I, I used to be a lager drinker, and I see exactly where he's coming from. I think we've all been there. Once I, I, been one, there. I found yeah. IPAs funny at yeah. first. Uh, I, I got a box of beer or somewhere. This will, this will sound ridiculous, right? Um, uh, and it's very I'm, weird. I'm the same as you. I was um, a lager drinker for years. Um, and and this is the absolute truth. Um, I started drinking IPA. Or I, I thought I heard of this IPA through uh, a completely random source. Um, I used to listen to a podcast by Stone Cold Steve Austin, the wrestler. Um, and he he, he, um, he was on about Torpedo, um, uh, Sierra Nevada, um, Pale Ale, and all that sort of stuff. And I'm like, what the fucking hell is he going on about? And so I went out and bought one one day. I was like, well, it's fucking different. And it took me – and obviously Torpedo was about 7.2%, the Torpedo. Um, I was like fucking like three times stronger than anything I've ever drunk in my life. I'm like, wow, what's this? Um, and it sort of just opened my eyes. I'm like, okay, now I'm getting away from that whacking bitterness and the grapefruit and the pine and all these other bits and pieces. What what the fuck is this? And then I found Punk IPA and Sierra Nevada Pale Ale and all these other things. And yeah. that's what that's what started my journey. Yeah. It, 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 I think any new style of beer, I think most British people or English people will, it, you have lager and bitter. Yep. Maybe a mild somewhere. Yep. And I think if you give yourself a few pints of any style, unless you actually detest it, It, it's a better beer, isn't it? I find. I was never an deep. IPA fan, and I fucking fan. love it now. You're a massive fan of ales and old style ales and like milds and things like that. Well, I'm not. A, I'm not a massive fan, but I do enjoy them. I can appreciate them for what they are, and they can. They're they're enjoyable at the right time. I enjoy most beers, but. I can't sit and drink lager all the fucking time. I'm, I'm yeah. definitely more of an IPA kind of person. Wheat beer. I love a wheat beer. Love a wheat mm -hmm. beer. You're, you're a that, huge that, fan that, of That's your German beer. lager, isn't it? In a way. <laughs> yeah. It's like the best. Yeah. It's a German version of the best British, British lager we're ever going to get. Yeah. In a kind blow, of way. Blow, blow 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 German lager is great, but. Yeah, it's it's it, it's something that little bit different that's so easy to drink. A basic Heller's lager or a Pilsner. Yep. It hasn't been it hasn't been fucked about with. It's it's yes. it's true, simple, basic ingredients, but it's just brewed to perfection. And it just blows anything out the water that's brewed this side of the pond, you know, your callings and all that crap. Yeah. It just, it, it, it makes a mockery of it. Oh, yeah. I, um, I sat down yesterday, the other end of this table, as it happens where I am, and you sit and think about certain beers and you just think, I actually sat there and thought, German and Belgian beers really there's no mad styles, is there? Germans, a wheat beer and a lager, basically. Yeah. Yeah, they're, it, they're let's narrow it down to what 
they're, they're, they're guided by the Ryan Hush um, don't they? Where their um, the German purity law, yeah, is, they don't do a great deal with their beers. They're all very straightforward. Mm, true, true in that. Form. Exactly. Yep. Belgians do ales. They don't fuck around too much with it. What? So what you? What in Germany and Belgium? Three styles of beer, almost, isn't it? If you yep. get what I'm saying. Yeah. And you know that they don't get it wrong, do they? Generally, no. They might not be to your taste, but they don't get it wrong. What they do is three between the two countries. They do three beers excellently. Yeah, yeah. So it says um, torpedo. That was one of the first to blow my mind as well. Um, then Dale's pale ale and Lagunitas started Lagunitas, showing. Yeah, that's, that's another Lagunitas. Yeah. Lagunitas is a very good, I think, easy accessible beer, isn't it? And it's, I don't, I don't, I'm from, I've had my fair share of Lagunitas, and on the sub, it's lovely. Um, never changed. Never changed. No, solid. Yeah. Solid. Uh, my missus drinks them Heller's German lagers. you got a keeper there, mate. Uh, uh, so Simo says, finally getting uh, Bradley Evans, finally getting round to some of the backlog beers and polishing off the little fest beer. That little fest beer, that's all right, that is. Yeah, it's all right for the price. Fucking massive, yeah, isn't it? All right, massive. Yeah. you get the fucking the junk with it. Yeah, about like, well, 34p for the fucking beer in the glass. Yeah, well, okay. and you get a discount if you got a coupon. <laughs> So hey, who's, work, who's working tomorrow? Not me. Fuck that. Uh, I might be. <laughs> Actually, having a day off. No, no I, I might. I might be persuaded to do an odd job here and there. Yeah. Go no, you say, your hand. What are you going to say, Barry? You can ask me a question. I'm at, I'm at the in-laws tomorrow, but uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, Dean, that was it, yeah. Have you had the uh, have you had the Golden Drac Imperial Stout? Uh, yeah, I think I have, mate. Fucking beauty. Uh, beauty. Uh, I don't know when you had it, but fucking... Any, go any nice Golden Drac, mate. The fucking the Stout, the Quad. Uh... What else do they do? Is it they do some sort of reserve version of something? Fucking belting beers. Yeah, fantastic. Two euros ninety you can pick that stout up for on beer yeah. Belgium in a box. Steel, mate. Twelve percent. I can it was a blind I was I would kind of dreaded it last night. So I'd had a couple and I just thought, oh, I'll do it. And I thought it's gonna be a bit of a, a fucking head twister, isn't it? Yeah, and I sat there and drunk it. I thought, "Fuck me, it's fucking mint." Not like I didn't expect it to be bad, but you know, yeah, I thought you'd twist your melon, man. Twist yeah, melon. twisting my melon, man. Uh, you see, boys, it doesn't matter. Earl Grey IPA, first beer to blow my mind. So many new flavors. Yeasty boys, fucking hell. They, they yeah, made seen that about. You know, bargains, didn't they, with their stuff? They did, yeah. Like 48 p a can or something. Fucking hell. Jack, Jack Man 7 has put, hopefully the pub's open on the second. I miss the exercise from walking home. <laughs> 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 oh, cracking, yeah. Yeah, for me... Is the comment of the night absolutely <laughs> perfect? Right, the night. <laughs> there we oh, go. Right. I just thought Amy Winehouse when she died at rare. Oh, there, hang on, there goes my monetization again. <laughs> Sutcliffe, Sutcliffe. Oh, yeah, hang on, fucking hell. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Love a bit of Sutcliffe. <laughs> It's it's, it's a bit. Um, I believe it's, there's some um, there is some poetic justice that the man died on the th uh, the um, Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, and, and, and uh, yeah. the KKK fucking founder as well. He's passed popped his clothes. He really? Yeah, yeah. He's um he's gone. Six feet under now. Funny old world, isn't it? It is a funny old world. This means you're getting fucking weirder as well, but to be fair, it's um, oh, okay. this this year is just like I mean, we, we, if and when we all get through it, is when you look back in five or ten years' time, it'd be like, fuck me, what yeah. the fucking year that was, fucking right shit show, isn't it? This year, <laughs> 1976, the sun, 30 years of the wet weather. 2020, no fucker went out. No went out, was it? <laughs> that is so true about uh, some stage, all you had was a lager and a bitter on tap in a pub. If the pub was not shifting enough real ale, it would taste shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it was a very different drink, isn't it? Well, it's, a li it's live, isn't it? So it's live and it's, con it's fucking, it's a living thing. It, it's it's hard to be a beer reviewer, really, because oh. <laughs> you've, you've you've got to be open, haven't you? You haven't got yep. to be you've got to be open to different tastes. And I mean, I, I'm not, you know, I, the only one I can sort of really probably refer to is Simon. <laughs> he has a lot of knowledge about. I'm sure you two do as well, but. He has a lot of inside information, doesn't he? And, and knowledge of brewing and that. Yeah. And and knows probably, I, I'm guessing, more than us three. I'm guessing. And that's not trying to be detrimental to... No, no. But, Do I you mean, know what I mean? There's, there's, there's other people out there, though, Barry, that, that know a bloody lot about beer. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm just referring to him because that's all I know myself. Yeah, yeah. No, or who it, I know. Yeah, it's like the go-to. I suppose it's the go-to sort of thing, isn't it? It's who you know of. Yeah, yeah. He's, but he's, yeah, he's, I mean, you know, it's. I'm back. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. I've got more beer. I've got back. Yeah, yeah. Hit that like button. Smash, smash it. Smash it. it. Get rid of him. I'm having him on my channel. Yeah, smash the like button. I've got a video about that. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Let's get. I don't know how many likes have I got. Hang on. I mean, I mean, have you got anyway? I, I, I just check. Know, it. Let's go check. You got three viewers. Me, you, and him. <laughs> More than. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, more than normal. Hey, yeah. I fucking maxed out at eight. Fuck you. Yeah. Two likes, five dislikes. Five? Yes. Oh, that'd Fuck. be when I joined in. Smash. <laughs> if, you around, if you can turn that around and smash the dislike button, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. There's them folk, is there, eh? Um, and let's, uh, let's count on my hand who I can think of. One, yeah, I've got all them. Na uh, names, all, all, all named and tagged. Yeah. I wouldn't give them the time of day. No. It is what it is, mate. It is what it is. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Make everyone happy. That's how it works. You can't please everybody. All of the time, no. um, and never get a sheep, especially in this day and age. And well, because the, you know, people get so offended by the simplest of fucking things. Oh, it's a fucking nightmare, isn't it? It's uh, the world's gone fucking mental. It is. It's a um, fucking mistake. And never share anything in a pub uh, in a private group. And never, never, never. Because you get fucking. Get fucking chucked up the river, mate, for that. 
Anyway, um, you can lead your horse to water, but a pencil won't be led. Good. <laughs> 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 on, Hardy. Bring it on. Right there. It's a it's a funny old game, YouTube. I've um I've learned a lot in the last probably um <laughs> probably three weeks. Um, I haven't even fucking started yet, mate. Uh, it's uh it, it <laughs> when you when you put yourself on a public public forum, um you you learn to trust people that don't always turn out how they 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 seem, uh, and you learn where your loyalties Too lie. Many wankers, mate. Yeah, there are. Um, and but you learn where your loyalties lie. Um, Never mind where your loyalties. There's just too many people who like it. Yeah, I've, I've I've made some really and I've I've made some really good friends. You two, um, and there are a couple of others that I'm not going to mention. Um, and, but there are other people that. Am I still part at, of that friendship? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, but Barry, I know, I know. You sent me a message earlier that you. Um, that you thought me and Dean had hacked you or uh, whatever. There's nothing. I didn't even know you were going live today. Um, so I do apologise. That was nothing done intentionally. Um, no. Why? Which is why I actually invited you last night because I didn't know what time you... I didn't even know you was going live, pal. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. I don't like... Been, I'm step it's on. Fair, Baz, me, me and Scott have been talking about doing this for a couple of days now and he, and he said to you, get, 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 we'll get Barry on. Yeah. You know. So... Um, and so it was a complete fucking fuck up, and it was no um, no malice intended at all. I ain't like that. I've had enough going in the last couple of weeks to fucking alienate my friends. There you are. <laughs> just, I mean, it's just fucking rising above the bar, isn't it, with stuff? Yep. Um, and just taking it on the chin almost. If you don't agree with someone, then fair enough. But there's don't no be a cunt. Keep, you know what I mean? It's, you heard that, like, Scott. Don't be a cunt. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't call anybody a cunt and not in text because you get a phone call from the police. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, uh, malicious communications. Dean, is that left-handed giant T-shirt? Yes, it is. <laughs> I do like a bit of LHG. Uh, Simo, I used to do shitloads of steps, staggering back, falling in random bus bushes, and then getting in about two hours after the pub closed when I finally sobered up enough to find my way home. I think we've all been there. <laughs> yes. And Many a time, a, mate, I tell you. Um, a, a guy that I've actually got to know quite well in the last couple of weeks. Um, so with you two guys, um, also someone that I can rely on, is my friend Chris the Butcher. Uh, and I know oh, thinks, yeah. the world, thinks the world of Dean um, and you, Barry. And Chris is a lovely bloke. Yeah. Solid, down to earth, old school, and just no nonsense. No bells and whistles. What you see is what you get. Correct. No fucking fanning around. No fuck about of all this other shit. And just a nice bloke. Wanted to get on well with Lou, his missus. Um, and just, just a nice bloke. Cheers. Good friends. Where are you on now, Mon? What are you drinking there? That salt glass, I see, or? Uh, no, no, th well, this one. This is a beer musketeer glass, so my, my local bottle shop. Okay. And I'm actually on my third can of Punk IPA now. <laughs> oh. Uh, That's the posh tram juice, that is. Um, yeah, yeah, but I like it. Um <laughs> Uh, uh, we, 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 we've got um, we've got an evening uh, tomorrow night on Spice and Easy's night, so we've got a long standing return date. Uh, we were on uh, Spice and Easy back in August, I think it was August time before Wanda went back into Great Ormond Street with Leah. 
Um, we ended up on their channel twice in one evening. The second time, Wanda was absolutely hammered. Um, we were going to yeah, go back on. Two... Yeah, she was. Um, t- we were going to go on two. Weeks... We were going to go on two weeks later, but life got in our way. We've been trying to reschedule for fucking months, and we're back on tomorrow night, and we're doing eight beers. Session. Oh well. <laughs> so, so I'm picking. So Al's picked two. Fiona's picked two. Wanda's picking two. I'm picking two. Wanda's picking uh, two. Coca Dokas. Yeah. No, she's she's <laughs> picking. Who are you picking? You're picking um, layer cake. Layer cake and the marshmallow cider from Brothers. Um, I, Alan, um I've got. Al's picks and um, Fiona's picks, and they are. <sighs> Hang on, bear with me. Um, I've they've picked the Five Points Brewing Companies. That one. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just, um, hang on. Two seconds. Uh, so they lay out. So this is what they've gone f- as. Um, oh, that's Dean. Gone for the wrong one. <laughs> went for me, fucking idiot. So this is the what they've we've gone. That's their picks for the evening. So sour solstice. Oh, from Jupiter the, yeah, Fruly. Yeah, Jupiter Fruly. Um, they look great. Yeah, combine harvest. I've been quite interested here. to try the Fruly. Fruly's all right. We 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 did that ages ages and ages ago. I think. Yeah, um, I've seen that one. Um, but yeah, so and I've got, I've got a pick for I've got a pick two. One just pick a two. So she's got layer cake and the marshmallow brother cider, and I'm going to go. Uh, we're going to go for for Tesco beers, and we're going to go. I'm going to go for something probably a, a little bit left field, just for fun. Stella. I don't know what we're going to. Oh, I do Stella just for a laugh. <laughs> I go do just... Stella sometimes on my channel. But out the PD. Smash that like button. Smash that button. Um, let's it. get how many likes have we got? Thirty. Hang on. Bear with. I don't even know. I look. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, we've got. 33 likes. Can we get 4,000? Yeah. Can, can we get 4,000 oh. in four minutes? 4,000 in four minutes. 4,000. Otherwise, I'm turning the stream off and I'm going to hang myself. I was going to do something, then, but I won't. <laughs> so 4,000 likes. Otherwise, we're going. Let me get another beer. <coughs> Three thousand likes, hello boy. So, um, Toby says, I "Come have on, no Mel, give me some support." <laughs> Sorry, did I do that? <laughs> so, um, edit. edit. <laughs> Toby says, "I have no fucking idea what Scott is talking about, but I sort of don't want to ask either." All oh, right, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. About people you can trust. Read into what you want. Um, Chris Butcher. Night, mate. I've got to get some sleep. Love you, and obviously Dean and the other guy I've never heard of. <laughs> right, I'll unsubscribe to you, you cunt. <laughs> there goes my fucking money gun. <laughs> fucking, you subscribe to the fuckers. Don't even know who you are. Fuck you. Know you. <laughs> Mr. Butcher and friends. You fucking will now. It'll be fucking boom, boom, boom. Up yours. <laughs> I'm looking forward to tomorrow night's uh, stream. Wonder isn't. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You'll be all right. I'll be at the in-laws anyway. Yeah. I tell you what, long drinking far in laws beer. You're Dean. This is a long five minutes. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, ten, got eight minutes. Ten, I'm cutting it. It's dead. So be warned. Even if you're still talking, you're fucking dead to me. <laughs> you probably um, talk then. All right, mate. <laughs> okay. 
no need for that, is there? Um, yeah, it's 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 funny. It's a funny old game, YouTube, isn't it? It's um, it's it's a weird one. I think I think you. I mean, for me personally, I needed something like this to, to yeah. have a chat with some mates and and people that are commenting and leaving some interaction that we can feed off. Yeah, I needed this. Yeah, I know, and I'll, I'll, I'll be trying. Obviously, I do. Um, I love doing the lives of Wanda. I have a lot of fun with Wanda. But I said, I've said, uh, I've said to her. And she's actually said to me as well that you need to do something with Barry and Dean as well. And obviously, she sat over there. Um, bless her heart. She sat Christmas shopping, gave me the night to come on, um, and just have a laugh. And be just, just us three. We get on all right. Yeah, yeah. Here we come. I'm pissing myself in. Are you pissing yourself with one less subscriber? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's um, it's 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 been great. It's um, it's it's long, it's overdue as well. Yeah, it's 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 nice. It, it just let, I mean, for me, it, it just lets off a little bit of steam. You can just chill out and have we've a few. All busy long, we've all got busy lives, as, as of the guys in the chat. chat, in the chat as well. Um, we've all got busy lives. We've all got shit going on in our lives. It's nice to just fucking unwind, have a bit. Of, it's like being at the pub, and someone said it earlier, up the pub, having a chat with your mates. Um, yeah. And that's how I see yeah. this. Um, and it's nice to be escapism, isn't it? You know, just just detaching yourself from reality a little bit and losing yourself in this, yeah, and forgetting about yeah. what's going on out there because it's it's fucking shit at the moment, isn't it? You know, let's be honest, it's depressing. The fucking world's gone. Why not try and get all of us there? No, super good. I saw one of your reviews when you had a Wild Hearts t shirt on, you were a fan. Fucking cracking band live. I've been a Wild Hearts fan since I was 16 years old. I'm 45. That's 29 years of probably um, 45. The fuck off, Barry. Um, the the probably the most <laughs> prolific songwriter in Britain that no one has fucking heard of. The man is superb. Wonder. I've converted. Wonder. Wanda's a Wild Hearts fan, aren't you, Wanda? Mm hmm. Um, seen them live probably 20 times over the years. Fantastic. What a fucking. And so is my friend Krista Butcher, a Wild Hearts fan. Right. Uh, well said, Scott. I would be lost without these streams. Can't go out or nothing. Just work, 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 work. Yeah. It is. It's, it's. I mean, if you've. If you're still falling into the trap of having to actually keep working and you're not furloughed you, you just you're in that hamster's wheel again ah. aren't you you just yep. keep going and going and Bit going fucking late Chris the Butcher Sorry, fuck you yeah. I've just stopped to all the being over there <laughs> Olive Branch is it just me but as, as Chris the Butcher got the longest arms ever when I watched his videos his arms go out and then like like Mr. Tickle, weren't they? So we um we went on to um we did a live with Chris and Lou a couple of weeks ago. On there, he's got this raw thing where he invites people onto their channel, um, and he described himself as Kermit the Frog, as the fact that he's um quite slim up top, but he's got the big belly, the big arms, and it just made me laugh. His arms are huge. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> huge. Him. But it says the for me, I, I love Chris Chris's editing where he does the 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 like the time lapse where like the one the other day with the microwave where you can see him in the microwave and he's got no pants on and all the other stuff or, or he does the things with the mops. He's just fucking the the effort that goes into his um his reviews is superb and a genuinely um they did their live last night. Um, it was their fourth anniversary, him and Lou, and then they I'm came. Die any second now, so if um, I disappear, apologies. Yes, yeah, right. 
Um, and then we had 20 uh, seconds. Yeah, you don't care, will you? No. And then so we before had, I go, fuck you. <laughs> there goes my money. Um, we had a, <laughs> and then we had a uh, we had a WhatsApp call with um, uh, Lou and Chris last night for about half hour. Just a, a genuinely nice couple, nice people. Uh, I, as, as Toby says, I spent all day looking after a sixteen-month-old. So this is my only chance for adult conversation. Some sometimes I have better conversations with her than you, but. I do appreciate you doing this stuff, <laughs> and I think I think I think sometimes that I think Barry's gone. I'll get rid of him. He'll be back in a minute, maybe. Uh, but we're probably gone. Well, Ten o'clock cut off. I'm gone. Um, I think sometimes I think Wanda brought this up sometime uh, some time ago. You don't always know what you bring to other people. I, and I've said this to you, um, yeah. personally, when you stopped your channel, you don't know what you bring to other people's lives. People that have nowhere to go, nothing to do, with whatever goes on in their lives, and you give them an outlet. And we I don't think any of us can appreciate that. No. No. I don't know. I know. I know. People have like. It, I mean, it's not easy doing something like this. No, it's not. It's not easy. You got to have. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the what the chemistry is of doing all this. But I know some people are like completely no, no, not not having it. So to sort of like get up and do it and. And just be yourself and just vent a load of bullshit out at times. Some of it good, some of it bad. To people that are listening. Yeah. And I'm I'm all for it, you know. Are they really? <laughs> Fuck me. Hang on, two seconds, mate. Just texting Barry. Was he, his battery gone, Dad? I think so. <clears throat> I've been quite happy with my uh, my laptop tonight. I, I said, has, it, it has it been on your laptop? It's been on my laptop tonight. Yeah, I I got a, I sent it off to Curry's because I I lost my patience with it a couple of weeks ago and I fucking chucked it on the floor. I remember you telling me. I got angry with it and then I, I sent it off to Curry's to get it fixed. And I think they've done a they've done a pretty good job because the battery stayed intact and I don't think it's lagged. I think it's been no, right. I think it's good. Absolutely yeah. good as gold. Wanda, you right? Um right. We got to ten. I think we'll give all it tonight if that's all right with you. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that, mate. Yeah. Um so uh thanks really enjoy uh i've been i'm watching the masters how good are these golfers they make it look easy i'm fucking i played tried golf once uh and it was like fucking smacking it was like <laughs> opless it's like a blind man whacking at a fucking just bit of grass just fucking <laughs> absolutely useless Fucking rubbish. Um, hang on. What's he said? Uh, Gary Glitter used curries once. I I hope you've smashed that like button. Dave, Dave. if you haven't come on here and smashed the fucking like button, Smash I, will block, I will block you on WhatsApp immediately and never speak to you ever again. <laughs> Ginger is the bollocks. Only seen them twice. Fucking... The Wild Hearts, what a group. What a fucking group. I think Barry's fucking phone must have died. Um, so, um, he's got blade, isn't he? He's probably. Oh. And what's it? It's 10 o'clock. Well, you can always pop over to someone else and watch them for an hour. For an hour or so. Uh, yeah. 
like Welsh people. It's fine. Um, oh. Smash oh. the like button. Smash the like button. Oh, hang on. It was smashed. Smashed. Thanks, Dave. Smashed have the you, I, uh, uh, What have we got? Hang on. I'm just going to check. So I'm just going to check. I don't know. I'll check. We've we got 4,000. 4, 4, 4, I don't know. Yeah, I'll check. It's, fucking, it's so bad. So I've still got 35. If we haven't got 4,000 um, smash buttons, yeah, like buttons in 34 seconds, I'm cutting the stream dead. Yeah. I think I think you're happy with, with tonight's outcome, mate, regardless. You know what I mean? As, as I said I said earlier, um, and I count Dave in this, uh, obviously, um, I've learned very quickly in the last few weeks people what I can count on, people I like, people I trust, um, you, I'm not going to fucking name them, I don't give a fuck, you, Barry, um, Dave, Chris, uh, Paul, John, just, I know where I stand with people, and I ain't going to fucking bother with no one else, fuck them. Yeah. Um, so, Game on. Uh, cheers, Dean and Scott. Uh, Barry can fuck off. Yeah, he's gone. Tried to compliment his channel and he got RC at <laughs> night. Barry, look, listen, uh, Toby, in all, in all, in all fucking honesty, Barry is as sound as a pound, funny, yeah. decent, genuine. Don't, don't write him off. He's a cracker. Mm. And Dave says, Who the fuck will be streaming? Till eleven o'clock. Well, it won't be us, Dave, because we're going in, in a minute. Yeah, I'll be there. Going at nine. I was going at nine, but I've been tempted a little bit. Um, Bradley always smashes the like button. There's no, 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 no more to be said. Uh, and you've done well tonight, Scott. I've enjoyed it. Uh, it's not me. This isn't about me. This is about me and Dean. Um, we're fucking like my best mate. Good, ma good mate. Good mate, right? Yeah, proper, proper mates. Uh, and there's no, no bullshit, no backstabbing, no fucking rubbish. Um, I can say what I like to Dean. I don't take it personally. He doesn't take it personally. As is Barry. As is fucking Dave. Chris. All these other people, just fucking not normal people that do normal things. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't agree with some, but something that somebody says, you just just take it on the chin and just fucking move don't on. Fucking stab them in the fucking back because yeah. it's not Judas. fucking one. Judas. Judas. Um, uh, Charles Dunn. Evening, Scott and Dean. Hello, Charles. Yep, How Charles. Are you doing, mate? Um, Chris is back. He said he was going ages ago. Love you, buddy. And we love you too, mate. We need to do a, a me, you, and Dean, and Dave night. How fucking funny would that be? Um, um, I'll tell you what. We'll all do Stella. We'll all drink Stella for the night, eh? What was about that? Is it citrusy? Because Dave doesn't like citrus. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking. Is it citrusy? I don't know. Crack on. Dave's great. Lovely bloke. Chris, you, Barry, I know where I stand. I'm fucking good with that. Oh, hang on. Right, right, so, enjoyed it. Cheers. Uh, I don't take it personally. Well, fuck you then. So, that's obviously <laughs> what Chris said. Uh, Dave's dead. Stop fucking about. Say what you think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've, so I said, so I did the little video of the smash the like button. Um, I sent that to you. Chris wants to use it in his videos. <laughs> uh, I want to use it in my videos, but Wonder won't let me. The shroud of the dark side has fallen. The fucking dark side. It's like a wave of light that has hit us all, yeah. and we can all no longer prepare for the. Bullshit that fucking surrounds us. Yeah. I'm more interested in what goes on out there than what goes on in here. 
Absolutely. It's um it's a funny show. As um as as I said to you, um it's it's a learning curve. Yeah. yeah. It's a learning curve and um I've learned. Ups and downers. Yeah, ups and downs and um and made some friends and some really good friends. Yeah. And we, it's it's okay. fucking yeah, think positive. Think positive. positive. And on that note, there's some good that that's come out of all this, to be honest. On that note, yeah, I'll tell you, on the bullshit that's gone on. On, on, on that note, I'm going to um, I'm gonna cut it down because I was going to do seven till nine. It's now ten past ten. Wanda's been good yeah. as gold and let me fucking waffle on for three hours. That, so I'm going to, in the words of Chris the Butcher, I'm going to say thank you to my friend, Dean, my friend to the end. <laughs> Um, thank you, you, you. thank you for coming on. Um, and uh, we'll do some, we'll do some other things. We, we, me and you need to, I mean, we speak daily anyway, it's fucking ridiculous. I'm, uh, I'm sure we can sort some gerrymandering out, yeah. Um, before I go, can we hit four and a half million likes in four fifth, seconds? Four fifth, seconds. Fifth of a second. Four seconds, four and a half million likes. Otherwise, I'm going to down my beer. Yeah. It hasn't happened to go in. Right. Pleasure uh, as always. Pleasure as always. Last, last few comments. That was brilliant, Lol. Cheers, Chris. Thanks for coming, pal. Um, cheers, Brad. Cheers, Thomas. And so, days to see you guys. I'm on a quiz tomorrow night on Twitch. Look up there. I've, I've um I've I've subscribed to Elliot um Dave. So um we're on um Spice and Easy tomorrow night. So if I don't catch you, I don't even know what Twitch is if I'm honest with a fucking clue. But I'll speak to you tomorrow anyway. Dean, love you, mate. Thanks ever so much for tonight. Uh, th th love thank you all. Thanks, mate. Pleasure.